old in the old life. I bet people are in the old. Like, how do I end this? What up? Hold on, we got some technical difficulties in the house. I don't know what the heck's going on here. Doesn't make any sense, right? I mean, there's four people in here. I think a lot of people are still in my old one. I don't know how to get rid of that old one. We can't get this crap figured out. Maybe that's working. 17 people in here, so I don't know what the heck's going on. I tried to use my DJI. What's going on, guys? I tried to use my DJI so I wouldn't have to use my phone so I could look at my phone. And yeah. my DJI was telling me I li was live, but YouTube wasn't telling me I was live. No. It's my DJI. What's Whoops. going on, guys? Yeah, I, I went through and deleted them all. Yeah. You can play that. Just turn it down. I don't know if that iPad's going to keep up. Why? Because of this plug. Oh, well, we can plug it into another one if we have to. All right, what's going on? What's going on? Let me get caught up here real fast. I had it up here for a second ago. Oh. Uh, we are in South Carolina. Hello from Tampa, Florida. What is going on? What is going on? Hold on. Don't move it. Don't touch it. Happy yeah. Easter. Thanks, Scott. Calabash, North Carolina. We need Lita on camera, too. I think Lita's going to be getting on her little nerd machine. Is that what you're going to be doing? I don't know. Do you want to come sit in my lap? I want... Oh! I want a duck. Lita want a duck out of the claw machine and pilot. <laughs> Where are the doggies? Doggies! Bam! Ask and thy shall receive. All right, hold on. Let me get situated here because I had it... I had it different when I thought I was going on my... Live on my DJI. Ooh, somebody's backing into this handicap spot. Give it a handicap. You better be handicapped. You better be handicapped. All right, what is going on? It is uh, Saturday? Yeah. Saturday night? I figured <laughs> I haven't been live in a while. Look at the dogs. She's like, I haven't who been are you live in a while. <laughs> so I figured I'd go live and say what's up. Whoo, this is the worst two months of business we have ever, ever had. Oh, it has been rough, guys. It has been, and there's still people running out buying trucks and being like, what do I do now? Uh, good night, Robert and Lita from uh, beautiful Puerto Rico. You leaving us already? What's that noise, the DJI? Oh, hey, Oshkosh, Wisconsin here. I hope you're not picking up military trucks, 233. I'm stuck at a truck stop in Richfield, Wisconsin all weekend. We were stuck in Minnesota through that snowstorm. You and Lita don't give up. Happy Easter to you both. How old is Fat Butts? Uh, I think she's 11. I believe she's 11. I'd have to go back and look at the Facebook memories. Uh, happy Easter. Is today actually Easter? Tomorrow's Easter Sunday. Tomorrow's Easter. Mississippi in the house. What's up? <laughs> Thomasville, Georgia. What are you doing in Thomasville? There's no loot down there. Uh, no, my AP is perfect. Well, I say it's perfect. As we JB welded the, uh, um, what is that thing called? The radiator tonight. Oh, man, it's so fast. I guess I can just read it on this. Um, I think you can slow the chat down. Well, you tell me how to do it, and we can do it. 
Let's see. I could just read it through this, right? Yeah. Trump can't get here soon enough. How true is that? Hey, Robert and Lita, don't give up. Uh, hi from Jersey. Hello from Idaho. Danielle, happy Easter from Jackson, Tennessee. Hey, from Southern California. Thomasville, Tal Tal Geese. Tall Geese. Uh, doggy treats. Oh, Desert Van Life sent you guys some doggy treats. You see them perk up? You're going to get some doggy treats. Well, not right now. Not right now. Look how much that light has helped in here back there. That is Don't mess with awesome. It. I have to mess with it because it's not really pointing at them. Oh, well, I appreciate that, uh, Desert Van Life. Man, you've donated a lot, bro. You're awesome. Uh, hey, guys, Las Vegas and raining. Man, I wish I was in Vegas. Give me some crab legs, huh? Uh, hey, guys, uh, from Arkansas, Barbara. What's up? Was that the, that's the person I was like, Barbara? Yeah. <laughs> I'm retarded. Uh, hey, from Tennessee, staying on a while, going to bed soon. Uh, Northern Ireland, Thomas. Are you thirsty? No, oh, I said tree, so we might have to give him a treat now. You're thirsty, though. Time for a truck wash. My truck is my truck is pretty gross. I'm going to try to hold this up here so it doesn't look like I'm looking in my lap. Um, New York. What are you doing in New York, Michael? We're not supposed to be running New York. Shame on you if you're a truck driver. But if you live there, I'm sorry. You need to get out now. Uh, hello from Western Canada. Island Exotic Homestead. You got a homestead, huh? How's that going? Your husband's been driving truck for 24 years. Man, I've been talking to a lot of old timers here lately. They're, you know, they're like, oh, I've been driving for 40, 50 years. I'm like, would you do it all over again if you could? They're like, no. I've missed out too much on family and stuff. I was, uh, was I telling you this or somebody else? I think the thing to do if you want to get into trucking would be to sell everything you own, uh, get in trucking, and work your butt off for five to 10 years and then get out. And then take that money that you saved from not having a house payment or a car payment or a truck payment and then uh, buy you a house and get you a normal job and have the house paid for and be done with it. Of course, houses are so expensive right now that I don't think you could even do that now. I mean, trucking's, truck is, trucking's junk right now, let's be honest. Hi from Tampa, Florida. Tomorrow's my birthday, I'll be turning 41. Happy birthday, Matthew. Where you get that light strip? I got it from um, Amazon. Uh, Daniel um, let me see if I can um, do I have Amazon on this thing I don't think so yeah I do let me see if I can copy and paste it into the comments for you here oh I'm not signed in on this um, it's like a LED light strip light strip I think But it's not the regular LEDs with like the little LED. It'll it would be something like um, it would be like LED rope light or something. I mean, those were kind of like that. Let me see if I can find you something like it. It won't be the exact one I used. I don't know my uh, Amazon login info, but it'll be something like. Um, It'll be something like this. Uh, how do I share this woman? Do you see a share button? What's that? See, you're just too goddamn smart. You're just too goddamn smart. Here, I'll put a, uh, a link to something like it. It's something like this, but I just got the all white one. And I think it was only like 17 feet long. And then I just took and tucked it in that crack. Man, it helps a lot, man. It's it's super nice. All right, what'd we miss? Uh, let me scroll up real quick. Howdy from Lake Havasu, Arizona. What's up? Trump 2016. Gustavo. Hello from Michigan. Uh, have been curious on your decision on switching from manual to automatic. Uh, if you want to buy this automatic, I will sell it to you. And I will buy a standard because I hate this automatic transmission. It's absolutely garbage. I've tried everything everybody tells me to do. I've taken off hill assist. I've ridden the brakes. Like, it's just it's just too jerky, man. It's crazy. Waycross, Georgia, huh? We go through Waycross quite a bit. 
Do you know why the Easter Bunny hides the eggs? I don't. I live in upstate New York and would love to move my family out of this hellhole. Get out of there. Get out of there. Actually, upstate New York probably isn't as bad as closer to like New Jersey and uh, Long Island. You're probably okay in. Of course, it's still got the whole political whatever. Uh, fire. The Mustang was fired up like a couple of years ago. Um, thanks for the restaurant recommendations. Austin's Cattle Company uh, was amazing. It was so good. I went twice. Yeah, did you sit in the restaurant area? I meant to tell you too to sit in the bar area. There's like a bar area on one side that we always sit in. I don't sit in the regular restaurant area because I'm not sitting with those peasants in there. You know what I mean? Um, hello from Nebraska, North Carolina, Dover, New Hampshire. Is Robert reading chat from YouTube or is that uh, from Twitter or Face or some other platform? I don't know what he means. No, no, this is, uh, I'm just falling behind already. Uh, what what town are we in in South Carolina? Is that safe to say? Any more trans, no, the transmission's been, is no more lights. I don't know what the deal was with that. These shifters are known to go out on these things a lot and they're super expensive and uh, it would be a boat anchor for me as I'm not a truck driver. He don't want his parents to know he's dating a chicken. <clears throat> Good evening from Alabama. Hey, Mike Martin, it's me. Uh, what's for dinner tonight? I had... Um, so we had to work on the uh, APU's uh, radiator again. It started slowly leaking. And uh, dummy me did it like right when we stopped tonight, which was around 4 o'clock. And the JB Weld takes like six hours to dry. So Lita made me uh, two fluffer nutters, which is a uh, peanut butter and uh, marshmallow cream sandwiches. And then actually, when we actually got in the truck and started the APU, you made me, uh, what are those called? Taquitos. Taquitos. She made me some taquitos. Oh, uh, you got lost trying to find the bar? It's weird. There's like two restaurant parts and then you just keep walking through the restaurant like you own the place. It's just on the other side of the bathrooms. Your transmission shifter knob is going bad. That's yeah. I've read a lot about these things going bad, man. It's these T six eighties aren't as reliable as I hoped. I hope this thing lasts better than what. Like I'm a part of a bunch of different Facebook pages, and um, Come on. there's some people with some serious issues with these trucks and transmissions and motors and everything. The wiring on them. Do I prefer carpet or tile? I prefer carpet. Is that weird? You cannot have that duck. But Lita, no. Lita prefers um, tile. I just like the softness. And my feet get cold. You can't have it. That's my duck. I want it. Piedmont, South Carolina. Uh, Jopley, Missouri. Is that, am I saying that right? What is a good four barrel carb? Uh, a good four barrel carb would be uh, fuel injecting it. That's what a good four barrel carb would be. <laughs> Cause uh, I could stick a carburetor on top of my refrigerator and it would stop running. Southern Illinois, God bless. We are headed to uh, Indiana next, ain't we? Is it Indiana or Illinois? I don't know. Your son lives in Dover, New Hampshire? Uh, any more oil leaks? No. It is starting to get a little bit of uh, like a residual oil around there, but um, knock on wood, it hasn't like leaked like it was leaking. You want to come over here, Daddy? Mackie, come here. Come here. They want to see you. She doesn't know what you're doing. Come here. Oh come my here. God. You How about up hey, here? The duck. Up. 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 Hey. You leave that duck alone. Lita won a rubber duck from the Pilot Claw Machine, and Mackie is going crazy. Uh, my transmission fault was a simple $5 rebay, or relay under the hood. Uh, Fat Butts is doing great, aren't you, Fat no, Butts? No, I'm not giving it to you. She's hanging in there. We took him to the vet. This I guess you guys will probably duck. see that next video, or maybe I already talked about it. Watch out, Fat Butts. I gotta hide this She's duck. got a heart murmur. They found a heart murmur with her. Um, hey, Robert and Lita, Mark J. Clark, what's up? You're lucky with Lita. My girl wants to work and can't never ride with... Why can't she ride with you, Michael? 
because your company won't let you. You guys are the best trucking YouTube. Just, uh, I've got a crack, like a crack down the middle of my screen. So I can't exactly read everything. Right? So if you see me struggling, that's I'm trying to figure out what letters are in that gap. Oh no, what did I do? What did I do, Lita? Oh no, I lost chat. How do I get this thing? Oh, I'm like an old person. Hold on a second. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Four barrel carb equals uh, pro system carburetor. You guys, come lay down. Are you really getting a new truck? Am I really getting a new truck? I'm in a new truck. This is the new truck. Oh, what about the dream truck? Oh, that's, I think, next video. Hey, um, come lay down. It didn't work out. We'll come say up. that. Oh, come on. Uh, I own the truck. She wants to do 40 hours. Oh, so you work too much. She doesn't want to do 40 hours. You should contact Warren and Western Truck and Tractor Repair on YouTube about converting to a manual. Uh, yeah, you think he can do the work? Because I was wondering who, who would be able to do something like that. And I was hoping, uh, Come I mean, I guess I'll have to sell this. I mean, the transmission works. The transmission's fine, but I would rather, I thought about pulling the 10 speed out of the Mac, but then I'm like, crap, I want to, I still want to get that truck going. You know what I mean? I don't want it to just sit in the driveway and and rot away. Well, come on over here. Come here, baby. That duck's gone. They want to see you. Come here, Mackies. No, come no, here, babies. No. Come on. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh, oh. She don't want to, though. Oh, she don't like that. Oh, oh. There's a Mackie girl. Oh, you're okay. You're okay. Oh, yeah. Help me read comments. Um, I heard a heart murmur. Now I have a mechanical uh, aortic heavy valve. Yeah, so they rank uh, dog heart murmurs from what? One to six or one to seven? One to six. One to six and they rank Nula's as a two. So they told us to keep an eye on that. Um, we still have the land in Utah. Um, it's for sale. If we can sell it, we'll sell it. But if we can't sell it, it'll still be for sale. Because um, unless I win the lottery, um, you can't have that I mean, there's a couple of companies out there that I thought about maybe uh, driving for. Uh, there's a lot of crude oil um, truckers that run up and down the hill. But I don't know, man. I just don't. I don't know what to do with the land, honestly. Uh, we're in Murphy, North Carolina right now and headed for Ohio for the eclipse. Safe travel. Oh, that's right. The eclipse is, uh, is it supposed to be better in Ohio or you guys are just headed to Ohio? Um, we have 11.6 acres, um, that is backed up to, uh, BLM land, not Black Lives Matter, but Bureau of Land Management land, um, on one section. And then there's like a million dollar, uh, moose hunting reserve um to the side of that so the land is going to be worth something someday i just um with my brother uh backing out on everything and us having to pay for everything and the trucking industry industry being crap and us having to buy a new truck it's just it's a little straining right now uh love the channel got a duck out wife and i are jumping in the hot tub thanks for the content I mean, that's the live stream we need, right? Oh, what's up, Chris Anderson? Hey guys, I sent you an email a few days ago. You sent me an email a few days ago, Daryl. Um, a lot of that stuff gets sent to spam. I'll have to go through and check it out. I love all the videos you share. I, I used to drive uh, OTR, now I run local. Thanks for sharing. Central Missouri, huh? Too safe be thanks for the shout out. I've been watching you since the Ford. I went from 40 foot hot shot to the semi too. Have a good night. Thanks for watching, Michael. Uh, Western truck. Hey, are you gonna help me read some of these or are you gonna play your game? Can you turn it like sideways on the dash so you're not holding it? Oh, I mean, I guess I can, but look what it does to the chat. Well, I mean, you just, I don't know if, how you're gonna hold it. Can I just make this chat box bigger? Wow, I'm gonna hold it? Yeah. No, I was gonna let you read it. Well, you're not gonna let me read and then I can uh, I can redo this um, camera so everybody can see you too is that right 
Look at Mackie. Uh, did I get an email from you or a company called Navi? I don't think so. Hello from Tupelo, Mississippi. What's up, Myron? Um, we never miss a video on... Chat goes so fast sometimes. We never miss a video and we look... Oh my God, it's dragging it. Look for you guys on the road. Uh, so we have one black mirror and one white mirror. So if you ever see like a white T680 going down the road and you see a one black mirror and one white mirror, that's us. Uh, no, my brother still does not own his half the land. He, uh, what's the word? Surrendered it? Yeah. Seen Lita on the payphone? Yeah. Yeah, if you guys don't follow us on Instagram, we post a lot of pictures and stuff that we do that we don't post on here. Um, I know a lot of people are probably, uh, yeah, Mackie wants the duck because I squeezed it. Where's that duck at? I, no, don't you show it to her again. Oh, okay. I hit it. Mama said I can't show it to you. No. Yeah. That's my duck. You give me a dollar and I'll win you a duck. Give me we a dollar. We took them all to, um, Cabela's in, uh, where was that? Asawanso? Oh, oh, was, oh, I got the... Alwatona. To there. Oh, we took them to uh, <laughs> to Cabal Cabalas? Cabalas? Cabalas. Cabalas, there. And uh, they've got that like big fake mountain set up with all the animals and stuff. And I thought they would be more interested in seeing all the animals. And they definitely weren't. They could care less. Mackie was too busy like wanting to go shopping. She like hats. Yeah, all the hats that were on the racks, she was like trying to knock them off the racks. Weren't you? You should sit more over this way. We can't see you, baby. All right, you get on that and I'll get on this because you're not reading anything. I mean, I, you're talking, so I can't read while you're talking. No, you can read while I'm talking. No. You could do it. I got faith. I mean, this iPad ain't going to last very long, like I Why? said. Why? It's not staying charged? No. Ooh, I need to turn that down. Just mute it. Yeah, I did. Uh, we can't ever catch up when you're home, and it's it's a wonder we ain't cross paths on the road yet. I know that's weird, right? Um, truck tractor repair is in Oregon. Could also fix Mac. There's no way I would haul that Mac to Oregon. No, we'll just fix it ourselves. <laughs> Dave Watkins from Mobile. What's up? Uh, I used to spell my name Bobby with the I E, not the Y. I know the IE was the girl's name way, but that's how I spelled it. Thanks for uh, thanks for your videos. Been watching since your Ford. Yeah, I go back and I try to watch some of those videos, and holy smokes, man, those are those are rough. I don't know how you guys got through that. Texas to Indianapolis skid steer. Would you guys be interested in hauling? Uh, we don't go. We we try not to go to Texas, but I'm not saying I wouldn't go there if I. The, the scary thing to me about Texas is trying to get back out. Usually you can get into Texas. I think you usually take a hit coming back out. But, I mean, I could try for you for sure. Chick and I said, been following you since the early days. You saved me from making a bad mistake. I really wanted to go hot job. But thanks to your honesty, I stayed with my job. Yeah, yeah. What? I'm glad. Like... I tried to not be that YouTuber that was like trying to sell rainbows and unicorns to people wanting to get into the business. And that's what a lot of people are doing, man. People were clicking on hotshot videos because they were saying they were making all this money. And it, it wasn't there. You had to run illegal or get really lucky, especially non-CDL hotshot. Scott's Place just gave you guys $100 for the puppies. No, Scooter Place. Scooter? Scooters. Scooter's Place. Scooter's Thank you, Scooter's place. place. I'm telling you, it goes by so fast I can't read it. Bud Light or Corona? Corona, for sure. I'm a big Corona drinker. Dang, Scott. Or Scooter? God dang it. Scooter. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, Skid Steer. Watching from Vermont. How's that up there? I watch Blind Views. Uh, live and he uses his computer monitor as a chat box it's just easier to read yeah i mean i've got my computer back here hey scoot over would this help you think no no it put me too far away from my phone 
All my phone chargers are up here. His iPad's going nuts. Um, can we plug it into this? Actually, that cable is plugged into that. It's going to have to stay plugged into this. This thing's just floppy, huh? 12%? Yep. I don't know. Uh, let's see what I missed. Darn, I'm late. Good to see you. What's up? GLC M Ranger. You know, there's a lot of names on here that I see a lot in the comments, and he is absolutely one of them. He comments a lot, and I appreciate that. Well, I'm going to the uh, going to the bar next. Dude, I seen that video of you ripping your airlines off, and I was like, oh, man, that's, uh, that's my luck right there. The best way to contact you guys uh, for equipment hauling for us, uh, South Georgia Hotshot at hotmail.com love your adventures thanks uh artle love your videos watching from wichita mackie's uh dollar for the machine lita <laughs> i'm telling you she will have that thing gone in the blink she will have it ripped up so fast i don't know if she's wearing because of that or she has to go you can't she have it do you think they need to go out i can get them out for you yeah let me get these doggies out for her real fast. You'd think we'd had all this taken care of. I'm in Colorado, my friend is working uh, Mark Truck. Let me get these doggies out for uh, Lita real fast and I'll come back to you guys here. Good. Just calm down. back let me see what did i miss did i miss anything good all right uh watching from northern california do your track your net after all expenses per mile over time um i'm kind of terrible with paperwork to be completely honest like uh i'm absolutely terrible with paperwork i have my um I have my cost per mile figured up and we just dump a bunch of stuff into savings. You know what I mean? Um, let's see. Bought a truck in a 40 foot hot shot. It sure is rough out here, but I'm still making it. Love y'all's videos. Man, I don't know how you hot shotters are doing it, man. Lita has pretty ankles. I don't know. Does she? I'm not a feet person. Any plans for another cruiser vacation? Oh man, I, I want to so bad, and I think I need one. I think I need one really bad. But I don't think we can afford it right now. Honestly, we need to be working as much as we possibly can. Um, Chucky Trucking, Deep South Texas. What's up? What's up, Chucky? Using Starlink or cellular? We're still on. We're using T-Mobile. The T-Mobile has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, I shot my Timo or my uh, Starlink off months ago. I mean, you do get into some areas where it's not great, but I mean, my Starlink was costing me $150 a month, and that's that's just insane because when you have $150 a month and like the service is bad, then it then it really makes you mad. We are from Canada. We have two labs and we all and we all watch you all the time. We had a black lab growing up too, man. Those labs are great dogs, man. His name was Britton because we got him from England. Man, he was a great dog. Hi, hi, guys. Juan from Baltimore. Oh, man. Do you live in Baltimore or are you just up there in Baltimore, man? That whole thing with that bridge is absolutely crazy, man. I wonder if Dave Sparks from Diesel Brothers would buy the land since it's in Utah. 
I don't know. It's uh, it's only eleven something acres, and I think um, I think he'd probably want more land than eleven acres. I would imagine. Uh, fake uh, Dave Sparks started following me on uh, TikTok. And uh, it popped up. I seen it pop up saying Dave Sparks is now following you. I was like, what the heck? There's no way. Come to find out it was fake. He had like three followers. I don't know why people do that. Why Why make a fake account? You love your T-Mobile as well? I mean, T-Mobile's been great, man. Like, I think I tested it when we first got here and we were getting like 500 down and like 90 up. That's great. Akron, Ohio, huh? Uh, let's see. Putin wants to shoot down the Starlink satellites. Does he? I wouldn't doubt it. Did he really say that, though? Uh, we have all rights for our land in Utah, Andy. Mineral, water, everything. Akron, Ohio. That's, um... That's over by Mighty. I think Mighty uh, Products is in Akron, ain't it? I used to drive across that bridge. Yeah, isn't that wild? I mean, watching them videos, but I, I keep hearing from different people that are experts, and some experts are like, "Yeah, that's totally normal when the when the when the motor shut down," and then some other experts are like, "No, they're saying that they threw the the anchor off on the wrong side, and it shouldn't have snatched over and hit the bridge." And when your government comes out and tells you a story, you just believe whatever's separate from. Whatever's different from the government, because whatever they say is wrong. <clears throat> Mansfield, Ohio. We use T-Mobile for our home internet. Also, this is uh, this is the home internet hotspot. What's up from Macon, Georgia? What's up, Christopher? What's up, South Georgia hotshot Robert and Lita from Warm Springs, Georgia? What is going on? Lita's walking the dogs right now. If you just joined, uh, uh, are you going to look at a? new trailer with a lift axle the uh, cost of trailers right now um I, I couldn't justify a new trailer right now the rates the rates will not allow you to buy uh anything right now to be honest unless you just go to a bank and you get a loan and then you file bankruptcy later on uh hi rick from uh Massillon, ohio Hi, Robert and Lita from Chris and Nadine from Florida, our favorite YouTuber. Whereabouts in Florida are you, Nadine? 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 Charlie from Millwood Lake? Uh, where am I at? We're in South Carolina right now. Are you talking about my old hotshot trailer, Andy? Did you cure oil leak? I think so. I mean, there's still a little bit of like, you know when something gets a little bit of oil on it and uh, it gets dirt, That's it's kind of got that like residual, I don't know if it's oil or if it's water that got on the oil filter. Um, Aloha from Ohio, Hawaii. Any marriage plans? Don't screw up, dude. Um, she's the one that's dragging her feet, to be completely honest. Maybe she's changed her, her mind. Good evening from North Dakota. Do you ever have issues crossing the way stations? Hardly hear you mention them. We are a 80,000, we're over 80,000 pounds right now and we went across all the scales today. Uh, what's up with our marriage? She's just, um, she wants to get married in, um, I forget where she said, but uh, COVID hit shortly after I proposed to her and um, $5 from Big Tom. Thanks, Big Tom. Smart to stick with what you got. Not good right now to go into more debt. Yeah, I am trying to not buy anything else, especially if it's credit. If it takes credit, I'm not going to buy it unless it's like some kind of ridiculous killer deal. Hi, Lita. Lita's out walking the dogs right now. Uh, the Fiat uh, Ferris wheel is getting faster, so us Hamsters need to pedal faster. Uh, hi, you two. I'm sitting in Winslow, Arizona, hiding from the wind. Are you on a load, or do you live there? Hello, Harrison, Ohio. J.R. Frederick. Check your junk email and, wa uh, 
and watch it as much as possible from Illinois. What do you guys uh, play on WoW? Love to know what you guys play. Um, I have a tune of every single type. I mean, it's kind of nerdy, but I can show you right now. That's how nerdy it is. <clears throat> this thing should be charged enough. But, uh, does this thing switch around? Oh, this thing does switch around. So, um... Let me, let me find my remote here. In, in a panic. Ugh. I know a lot of you guys probably don't care about this, but... Um, that new Thunderstorm thing with uh, Blizzard that came out. Me and Lita's been playing a lot of Thunderstorm. That's a, that's a lot of fun. I've been enjoying that a lot. No time uh, RVer in Overland. No, full time RVer in Overland. Oh, did you buy the OTR tool for your T680? No, we have the uh, Ansel, Dennis. I mean, it's been working great for me, but I'll be honest with you. A lot of people have been complaining about the Ansel. This is a list of my characters right here. Like, I have... I have... My goodness, this... Camera is gross. I have a uh, 70 of absolutely everything. If I can find my mouse here. Like... A 70 of everything. I'm, I'm that big of a nerd. So... I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah, for the Horde, for sure. I don't know what I'm going to do uh, next season. Next season, they're kind of switching it up. And uh, I didn't play season two. So what they're going to do next season, or uh, season four, is they're going to just rotate through all the raids bi-weekly, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Helldivers 2 is moving up in the game world. Brisbane, Australia. Thank you. Uh, how do you say your name? Walu? Walu? Lita's the star of your YouTube channel? She sure is. I wish she would realize that. Like, I wish she would put as much into this channel as she puts into her own channel. I'm like, look, we get views on this channel. Put all the effort that you put into your channel on this channel, and they would make this channel that much better. But... I, she feels like this isn't her channel. And I'm like... St I guess she figures I'm South Georgia Hotshot. I'm like, no, that's the channel name. I don't know. I wish I wish she would put more time into this channel. Do more recording. Talk more. She's not afraid to talk because she's got her own channel. She's got way more videos than me. She does way more editing than me. And like... I don't know. I wish you would put more into it. Honestly. Um, you play WoW too, Angry Yank? Yeah, you better be Horde, you son of a gun. Uh, what new truck was I talking about? It's just a truck that I've always wanted. I actually had one before. Um, I don't really want to spoil it. I made a video out of it. It didn't... It ended up not working out, but we're still looking for one. It's a personal, just like a... a, a it's not a semi-truck. Here working on my 05 Volvo 670 with a CM870 Cummins. You guys are grinding, staying out on the road as long as you, long as you, I see you guys staying busy. Man, it's been, it's, it's, it's been rough these last two months to be completely honest with you. It's been rough. I've been stretching footage. That's why I quit up, uh, daily uploads because I am, I am this close to being out of footage. Uh, good evening, Rob. What's up, Henry? Hello, Robert. Nice to catch you live. Greetings from Cheyenne. What's up, Blue? Cheyenne, Wyoming? Blue Bowl? I think we've had this dis discussion before. Lita is awesome. Lita is awesome. Lita is... If she had a sister, they would both be in the truck. You know what I'm saying? I have the same Ansel, too, but not as good for my T680 with the MX13. The OTR tool saved my ass on regions and diagnosis last fall. Worth every penny. Yeah, I think the... Um, OTR. I had the OTR tool for the Mac, but it wouldn't let you go in and do anything. All you could do is plug it in and force. It would reset all the the errors, and it, you could do a force regen with it. 
nice. I haven't played much in the last few years. This is part of her too. She's there. She goes all the time. You, she definitely needs to add to add to it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Hey, Robert Stu from uh, Northwest Tennessee. Are you concerned with T-Mobile and their terms of service about them finding you up to five hundred dollars for hate speech? I have not heard about that, Stuart. How would they figure out if it, if you were using their product and doing hate speech? Would that be from their cell phones or what? No, that's ridiculous, though. You know, these companies just keep uh, screwing themselves over with all this woke bullshit. Sorry to hear about your parking situation in the house. Some people are just nasty. Are you able to get a street permit from the city? Usually that's a, uh, I don't know. You know, since we haven't parked our trailer on the road, and I forgot to mention this, unless I did mention it in the video, uh, three neighbors' mailboxes have been hit since we've moved our trailer. One, Our mailbox was one of them, by the way. Uh, did you get the split AC fixed? This is a completely different truck, Russ. This has the uh, built-in AC with, um, with the whole APU system. Uh, you are both South Georgia hot. That's what I told her, John. That's what I, I'm like, South Georgia hot shot is everything. I know. I, I don't know. I, go to her channel and yell at her. That's what you should do. Hello from uh, West Texas. What's up, Henry? Uh, Lita's channel is listed in the description of all the channels, of all the videos down below. But her YouTube name is... Um, L-I-T-A-F-A-E-R-I-E. -E. Like this. Here, I Oh, I'm on her phone. So, yeah, you can click on that, and I think that'll take you to her channel. Yeah, you can go to her channel from that. Uh, what happened to Class A? Uh, we still have that. That's still in the backyard that we still have never used. Isn't that crazy? Been for the Horde since Wild Lich King? I started playing... Um, Pre-BC. Uh, BC came out when I was level 40. My very first character was a uh, night elf hunter. I got it to level 3 and deleted it. And um, See, back when I started playing, it would default you to the alliance side. So I had no idea about the horde side. And I'm like, wow, this is boring. So I deleted that character and then I got to looking through all the characters. I'm like, oh man, look at all these cool guys over here. And I've been horde ever since. Uh, that's me talking on Lita's phone. Because <laughs> my phone's using for the YouTube. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Thank you, Agri Egg. Your truck would look good with a uh, herd of Alley Arc Moose bumper. I've got some type of a bumper on there. I don't know what it is. Deep thought, but just finished watching your very first video. Lita's here. Let me get the dogs in. What's up, babies? What's up, babies? They said they want to see you on the channel more. What do you mean? You don't, you're not on the channel enough. Oh. Yeah, we've got some type of a bumper on here, Patrick. Is there anything you would have uh, changed along the way? Like through the whole, through the whole trucking thing farm? Um, I would have tried to probably not get into this industry if you want me to be completely honest. If I go to Lita's channel, my wife gets jealous. Oh, man. What's up from uh, Colorado? Love you guys on the vids. Need to get the wife more involved with commentary. Some videos seem like she's mad. Yeah, she's... Uh, oh, yeah, this thing's almost dead, isn't it? Why don't we do this? Because that my phone's probably charged. Beetlejuice. Be oh, did you guys see that Beetlejuice? Uh... Me and Lita did a uh, reaction to uh, the new Beetlejuice coming out on her on her channel recently. Is this thing charging? This thing's freaking out, man. Freaking out. 
What's your phone at? Uh, it should be charged enough. You should open a truck repair shop in Valdosta. There's one already. I mean, there's a few already, but I'll be honest with you. They're parts changers, you know? I wouldn't say they're like master mechanics. I can change parts. I mean, look how much money we wasted going to shops that uh, just throw parts at it. Yeah. And if it doesn't fix it, they just expect you to throw more money at it. And so are you, Roberto? What I uh, love to see Lita, she's a star. Oh, I see. <laughs> uh, welcome back, Lita, Donald said. They can't see you, woman. Oh, sleepy. No. Oh, God. Yeah, this thing's... I just wouldn't mess with it, man. <clears throat> what are you doing, Max? Oh, let me take the grass off. Watching the old Beetlejuice now? I can't, man. Like, the old Beetlejuice is not how I remembered it. Like, I, I've watched it, rec I say recently, within like the last five years. And it is, it is not as good. How long have we been married, Bebs? I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, what's the LED light strip I'm using? It's just some stuff I bought off of Amazon. Are you connected to the Amazon on here? Woman? Nope. Really? Yeah. Shut up. No, I don't buy anything off of Amazon. You do that. Oh, man. Yeah. It's just a, a cheap little light strip that I got off of Amazon that's meant to be like tucked into a crack that I plugged in. I don't but it works great. Huh? I don't think I am. Oh, I, I looked. Oh, okay. I showed them all my WoW characters because there's some people that play the Horde oh, nice. on there. Yeah, my phone doesn't stay up there very long. Uh, Alright, what am I missing? Four years. Something about four years. You're one lucky man, Robert. Oh, are you saying we've been married? We're, we're not married. In fact, uh, her ring fell off down into the max dash. Yeah. So her... Uh, it was a cheap. It was like... I mean, I still... I have it on. It just doesn't have the stone in it. <laughs> it's like a, a horde ring. It's got the horde symbol on it. Let me see if I can show it to him. I don't know if it'll show up on here. But it's got the horde symbol. Is it going to show up? I don't know if it'll focus. You have to go like this. You have to go like this. <laughs> Am I doing this wrong, woman? That's the horde symbol right here on both sides. Is this the ring that fell on the Mac? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So we found it. Yeah, you, you handed it to me when oh. they took the harness out. Hi from Columbia. Uh, like Columbia the country or Columbia, Missouri? Because we were just in Columbia, Missouri. Yeah. Wife <laughs> laughs her ass off when I call her woman. I mean, if they can't laugh about it, I don't know what to tell people, right? I was just... What the fuck? I was just watching you over there talking about zoning... And haters over where? What's up, Iron? Uh, Lita, be honest. Is Robert the romantic type? I mean, I'm not the romantic type, so... Am I romantic? I don't know. Are you? I don't think so. You don't think I'm romantic? I'm a romantic, woman. I mean... I don't think they... Like, I don't know that. I don't buy flowers. Like, yeah, we don't believe in flowers. About. But I hold doors open for her. Yeah. I tell her how pretty she is all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm calling my wife woman now, and she doesn't like it. Why? I don't get. I don't get why people. Why? Bill Walsh, twenty bucks. Epic fail. Hey man, I appreciate that. Chilling at the casa, huh? Truck broke down, or what's up with it? Uh, I missed some stuff here. I'm calling my wife. Oh, yeah. It doesn't it doesn't stay on there? You have to hold it. Help me catch up, woman. I don't have anything. Marriage to read isn't it a government on. permission slip. It's 
isn't even some guy with a collars OJ blessing it's in your mind and heart that's how I feel about it. a lot of people ruin their lives by getting married if it's going great before I wouldn't rush it when you guys get into Arizona probably never probably never Arizona's dead Lita, can you do a uh, shout out for my son Joshua Hernandez hi Joshua Hernandez <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm uh, uh, seeding it since my load got postponed until Monday. T-Mobile's working great. We're getting like 500 megabyte download right here. I'll do a, I'll do a live speed test. I don't work for uh, T-Mobile, but it's been working out great, man. All right, we're gonna do a live speed check here. Look at that, 350 down. You better not. 351 down, 130 up. Now it's not always like this. We do get into some areas that are bad, but for $50 a month, if it works half the time, that's a that's a great deal. You know what I mean? Listen, I gotta find this back again. You can't, you can't have that done. Just a piece of paper, exactly. Uh, when you coming back through Colorado, would love to try and meet you in person. Uh, Colorado is probably going to be a while. It'll be next time we go out to the land, probably. Unless we find like a ridiculous load taking us. We're in South Carolina, uh, Dixie. Lita, a horde ring means love, woman. She's That's right. For the horde. <laughs> uh, hello from Cottondale, Alabama. Been watching a long time. What's up, Rich? Uh, I'll do a live when I get 67 subs. <laughs> Wait, I'll do a live. I think you have to have a thousand subs, Iron Warrior. A thousand subs and three thousand hours of watch time. Marriage isn't worth it anymore. Too much to risk. Uh, I think I heard something like 50% of marriages are guaranteed to fail, and 50% of the 50% that it didn't fail are are on the uh on the brink of failing is that the right word straight talk has a hot spot 45 a month for unlimited but i wonder what um i wonder what um towers they use ever drop in riley north carolina carolina the carolinas are usually bad we try to stay out of the carolinas but we got stuck in where did we come from Where'd we pick this up at? Missouri. Yeah. Somewhere in Missouri. And uh, if we didn't take this load, we wouldn't have had a load. Because we picked this up on Friday. We wouldn't have had a load for Friday or through the weekend. So we took this load, which is a load of coils. And we've got a load picking up after we drop the coils going to Illinois or Indiana. I can't remember. It's in Indiana. Yeah. Oil filter leaking. My buddy had an ISX that he started it one day and the filter was rolling down the hill. The filter had come off off the trans problems. Make sure they grease the pilot bearing. There's no, yeah, the Carolinas are usually bad. What's your and Lita's favorite class to play? Lita plays priest. Yeah, I made a holy priest. Yeah, that's her main. Her main is a holy priest. Uh, I've talked her into starting all. Well, let's see, you have a resto druid yep. and then you have a rat pally now yep i play everything man i can i can play everything 20 215 days until halloween yeah played uh, wow since vanilla for 13 years i mean it's fun wow is fun i've really gotten back into it with this expansion it's kind of a bummer what they're doing with season four but i didn't get to play season two so i'm excited i get to go back and play season two somebody plays everquest do you use trucker smart uh do you use trucker smart is free what is trucker smart oh the, the problem with trucker smart and it being free is a lot of the loads that are on there are old loads like i've called on a few on trucker smart and they're like oh where are you seeing that at i'm like trucker smart they're like oh we had that load covered days ago 
I always refer to my girlfriend of 15 years as the little woman. She is eight years. My what? What do you don't smile, Lita? No, that's not it. So the next thing, it says it says fart, fart butts. <laughs> they meant fat butts. Oh, but oh, it oh. Says... Congrats, Brookside. What what happened with Brookside? Did I miss something? No. And then somebody says fart butts and Mackie are yeah. the star of the show. I love my bullies. Much respect to you and Lita for rescuing Mackie. Yeah, she's she's been a great dog. She is. Um... You're a shit. I think she's something special for sure. Spe like, <laughs> like, like special Ed. No, but no. Seriously, like I can, I can let her around any other animal, and well, we don't have to worry about her. Yeah, she'll play with anything. She'll play with anything and everybody. Like she is the sweetest of the sweet. Nola is kind of a Karen. Like she has to let everybody know she's the dominant dog. She'll go around and stand on everybody's back and like Nula can kind of be a butthole. <laughs> Fat butts. Um, Chucky Smart, it's not it's got light years better in the last Yeah, I opened it up the other day when I was stuck in um Missouri or Minnesota. We've been stuck everywhere we go now we get stuck. And uh, I just I just can't pull cheap freight, man. There's there's still forty five thousand pound loads going for a dollar fifty and I just can't do it. Uh, I want to get back into trucking. How is the industry? Only yeah. way I will go back. I, I would stay as far away from trucking as absolutely possible. Uh, Lita, please slap Robert. What did I do? I don't know. What's up, my man? We are in PA with the boy back on flatbed. Uh, I want to get back in trucking. Fat butts. Truck smarter was married for 30 years and she walked out on me and went back to her ex then passed away in October so I was I was stick with the bill for her cremation and burial man I'd have stuck her in a cardboard box and dumped her out the window I play Diablo Immortal now is that the new Diablo because I heard that's absolutely terrible can you not she whining I don't think I th surprised you don't get uh HVAC loads? I know, man. Like, um, when was the last HVAC load we did? What is that? Oh, AC? Air conditioners? Yeah. I feel like we just did one, didn't we? Yeah. Been owner-operator for 30 years now? Man, I'm telling you, if somebody came along and offered me a job, I would probably take it. Trucked for 13 years back in the late 80s and early 90s. Hey. Have any good crab legs lately? No, cra good crab legs don't exist anymore. Hello, Robert and Lita from Arizona. That was supposed to be fat butts. Damn, spell check. Yeah, it's fine. We knew. I mainly use truck stop, but I picked... Man, truck stop has really been running like crap lately here, too. I don't know if uh, if you guys have noticed that, but it's just absolutely dog crap. I mainly use truck stop, but I picked up using DAT and I get some good loads for the step deck. I just turned my DAT back on the other day uh, because truck stop's been running so bad. Do you remember the American Dream run you did in New Jersey? Do you remember the American Dream run? Yeah, you we did? went to we went to that facility that they were building. It was golf carts. They were building golf carts. No. We delivered golf carts. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we picked up the golf carts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Why? Was that you that we picked that up from? It was American Dream. So, was talking about American Dream, I think. Oh. You know, I don't know if I talked about it, but on the way there, we took roads we weren't supposed to take. Um, my, my Garmin took us on roads. Expressways, or what were those called? Yeah, we were on, on the expressway that we shouldn't have been yeah, on. Yeah, it took us on the expressway that truckers are not supposed to be on. Can you not whine? Can you do that? Can you not whine? Can you stop whining? Uh, let's see. Again, Golf carts, it's a mall. Oh, is, that's a mall? I just checked loads on Truck Smarter in Ohio, range from 226 to 342 a mile. How much weight can you haul though? Tank's garage. 
Oh, you work you work there? You guys are still working on that Lush? It's time to bring out the Mustang? I know, I know. I want to get it going. <sighs> the problem is my, my car runs on E85. And there's, uh, there's not really any E85 places around Valdosta. Stop. Running hazmat on hot shot, it's the only way of surviving right now. General freight is so cheap. I know. I need to get my hazmat and I need to get my tankers, I think. Go ahead and just get everything. My tankers, my doubles. Sweet puppy. Has Lita trained right? Why until she gets loves? Exactly. How you like the 680KW? Is it better than the Mac? I still make, I still miss the Mac. There's things about the Mac I miss. Um, I mean, this truck rides amazing. But I think Mac still rode better. Do you think? Yeah. Yeah, that Mac was a good riding truck. Yeah. There's just a lot of stuff that that truck had that this truck... I mean, this thing gets way better fuel mileage than yeah. the Mac did. I mean, this thing's roomier in here. The lights kind of suck. This which is I, nice. I had just gotten... Oh, yeah, the, the, the gap between the, the beds is nice. Yeah. Like, you couldn't sit on the bed in the Mac. Like, you'd be hunched over. Yep. Um... I think, uh, I think we like the headroom with the thing not being here, but we also miss being able to throw all our clothes and... Yeah. We had a bunch of stuff up there. And lot lizards and stuff up there. We hey. did have a lot of stuff up there. I think she's whining because you're talking to nobody. Come up here. I'll talk to you. Come on. Like, she's freaked out. She's like, Come on. I'm talking to people on the phone. Come see. Go see, Maggie's. Come on. Go. Go, go. Come on. Go. What is wrong with you? Uh, You're so I think crazy. there's an E85 pump on uh, base. Um, I don't think so because the car club I'm a part of, they run E85 too. And I think they would have, uh, I think they would have let me know about that E85 pump. You just want to play? Doing a helicopter rig Monday. Do I ever come through Richmond, Virginia? Vir Virginia's kind of a dead area, too. Why didn't I get a long hood for a new truck? Because they're expensive. And I wanted the best fuel mileage I could possibly get. Enjoy your videos. I retired from trucking after 35 years about three years ago. Hello from Thaxton, Miss Thaxton MS Whitehorse. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any options other than Garmin, to be honest, uh, Donald. And this thing just, oh my God, today, oh, every day, every day, that thing is just, it just crashes every single day. Uh, is the Mac, no, the Mac is not running now, James. Um, I still need to put the wiring harness in, and I'm still looking for, um, for injectors. Let's see, what am I missing here? You guys are crazy. Hi guys, love uh, the channel. Thanks for sharing y'all's travel. Speaking of the scumbags who uh, called the code enforcement for parking on your street. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Absolutely nuts that like, I don't know if you guys noticed the people in the comments, like every time I would show my truck on the street, like people would be flooding my comments. I can't believe they let you park on the, tr on the street. If you were my neighbor, I would be calling. I can't believe they let you park on the street. And I know it was one of those crybabies. My friend of mine is building a 305 Chevy and a Fox body. We're old uh, 2016 CH613. I think that's what it is. Rides great. Mine's a six CXU. Yeah. CXU 613. can't remember it's a cxu something mine's a cxu something yeah, tell lita to speak some spanish come up here and speak spanish woman I don't speak spanish. she lies she's a liar you're so crazy uh don't listen to negative if you like trucking then truck you don't let no one discourage you from doing man it's just um it's really rough right now 
I try not to talk people out of something, but if I see something, I, I try to let you know, man. Like, you could have sworn you seen one last time I was. You were on the base. Are you from Valdosta, Angry Yank? I just clicked thumbs up for you too. Thank you, brute. Uh, joking, tyke, trucking. Give me this. Um, you can park on driveways, but you can't drive on parkways. Isn't that crazy? Try Rand McNally. That's a good one. I don't know. You go and you look at all the reviews. Like if you googled right now, what was the what's the best trucker GPS? Everybody says Garmin. I don't I, I don't know how. The problem is my ELD is connected to my Garmin, so. I'd have to get a different ELD. Yo, been watching for years. Never caught a live. Love you guys. Glad you're staying safe. And Robert, you have the patience of a saint. I don't know. When this camera's not running, I, I can uh, I can Hulk smash some stuff. That's for sure. I will Hulk smash some stuff. I was stationed at Moody a few uh, times. Oh, what would you do there? Buffet bandits steering wheel holders. What about the load board DAT one? I just turned I just turned my DAT load board back on. Uh, come to Landstar, you will like it. it uh, hey, if you don't, you can leave. But nothing but good for a year and a half. Are you pulling van or flat or what are you doing, Mikey? Hello from Walmart driver. What's up, Teddy? Uh, I didn't take off my intro. I just don't include it in all the videos. I, I myself get burnt out on it too. Like I wish I could come up with a, a better intro that would include the new truck. I just, sometimes my brain doesn't work, you know? Hey, from John and Sophia in Minnesota, what are your plans for the Utah property? I always enjoyed your videos when you'd drive out west and look at those mountains. I know, I wanna go back out west, but the, the freight out that way is absolutely terrible. And we don't, uh, we don't carry chains on the truck. We don't have our socks with us, so we can't legally drive out west even if we wanted to. Um, I just don't want to lug around the chains. I don't want to have to chain up. Like, I don't want to have to deal with any of that mess. This truck is not good with hills. Yeah, the automatic kind of sucks for hills. Not we good. got stuck the other day in snow. Yeah. You guys will see that coming up. We never got stuck with the Mac, really. The thing is, like with this automatic, like you can't rock the truck if you get stuck because it takes so long to go from reverse to front to forward. Like you can't rock the truck to get out of it. I don't know, I just don't like the automatic. It's a 12 speed automatic. If you have a 13 speed and you want an automatic, hit me up because we'll swap right now. I'll even throw some cash on it. Uh, what'd I miss? Yes, I'm retired now. It serves change outs, Roberto. Maybe I should say that Lita has the patience of a saint for keeping uh, keeping up with me. She's uh, she definitely goes through a lot of stuff from me, huh? That air freshener sprayed me in the eye. Did it? Yeah. Just now? No. Oh. Like a while back. What tips do you have for saving time on ELD? Um, I don't know that there really is any tips for saving on ELD if if you know you're gonna be there for at least two hours you can go into sleep or birth and stop your clock uh, I've been with Landstar for 25 years step deck and you're still doing good Cajun what kind of rates are you guys seeing over there uh, go haul boats for Tim Gentry uh, I just seen a post from Tim saying that uh, he's gonna be doing YouTube full-time I don't think he's gonna be messing with trucks anymore are you are you talking to your brother again? We haven't talked. I texted him the other day, but he hasn't responded. Do we do partials? Partials are hard to line up because uh, a lot of times they want it picked up today and they want it dropped tomorrow. Or they want it dropped too soon. I think partials only really work if you drive long distances. Like, I would really only try to put together a bunch of partials if I went from, like, let's say, Georgia to California. You know what I mean? Unless I find like a load that pays really good, 
and I can throw a partial on it, I won't just go around trying to pick up a bunch of dollar fifty partials because I, I could never make it work. I can't thank you enough for your willingness to share your experience as is. You saved me from making a huge life-changing mistake. Are Oh, are you the one that was going to get into trucking and I talked you out of it, Kendall? Because we're hot shot. You are lucky. Uh, Lyra is beautiful. Yeah, I'm sure you meant Lita, but yeah, she's uh, she's awesome. Look at her back there. Being a jerk. This, this dog is being a jerk. She's wow. whining. You guys still have your property in Utah? Haven't seen any video. We still have our property. We are still paying for it. Hello, you guys. We watch all all videos. We are two 80-year-olds, Rich and Dolly from Fall Rivers, Mass. Stay safe. It's wild to me that the people that watch these videos, like we ran into a couple the other, uh, not long ago. Where were they from? Where were we at? Uh, were we in? We were dropping... Uh... Lifts. Yeah, it was some scissor lifts that uh anyways we were walking the dogs like way out in a field and I guess they seen us walking in the field and uh they thought it was they the, the husband thought they it was two people walking wiener dogs and the wife was like no that looks like fat butts so they pulled into the truck stop and waited us to, for us to walk back from the field and uh we heard somebody yell fat butts and it was like windy and there was cars going by and I'm like, <laughs> She's Lita's finished. like, I think she said fat butts. I was like, no. And we get a little bit closer and I was like, what'd you say? She's like, fat butts. Huh? Somebody, you're famous. They recognized you in a field. Uh, I'm Tyler from Wisconsin. I'm getting myself into school to get my CDL license pretty soon. Getting closer. To getting closer in my life to be my true life is an over-the-road trucking man i i hate to say it man but if you can do anything else like mason just got a job with a plumber and he's making seven to nine hundred dollars a week and he's home every night like i hate to see young people throw their life away in this industry because you can't have a life yeah you you're gonna live in this you're gonna truck. live in a truck you're gonna shower in dirty truck stops your company is not gonna care about you you if, if you're an owner operator you're responsible for absolutely everything it's just man I don't know I mean if you don't what have any I just do if you don't have any place to live I don't know what her problem is dude she's wanting to play I was playing with you then you stopped uh, why did you wait so long to make a decision once you knew those people were scamming brokers? Uh, which one are you talking about, Joe? Let me see. Uh, lived in a truck for a few years, occasionally motel. Yeah, it sucks, man. It sucks. Even with this nice, bigger truck. Even like, I couldn't imagine trucking by yourself. Like, I'm lucky I get to have Lita and my dogs here. I, I couldn't do it by myself. There, there's no way. They find truckers that have unalived themselves in trucks all the time. Uh, brother, you may not know, but I'm an o OTR European trucker. I've done the deal. I followed you because you give me inspiration seeing me when when young I mean we're doing well but man it's rough uh, Mustang update I haven't touched the Mustang in at least a year huh it's been a while since we touched the Mustang I was considering OTR and decided to go another direction you lead in the dogs make a beautiful family do you hear what they're saying about you and you're still whining <laughs> huh you cry baby 35 subscribers is a lot. 35,000 subscribers is a lot. Yeah, I'm appreciative of all, of all the subscribers. Um, I get a little jealous when I see other channels with bigger, with more subscribers. And it's not all about the subscribers either. It's about the views. So, I mean, subscriber count doesn't really mean anything. It'd be cool to have like one of those YouTube play buttons. Yeah. 
I hope one day, if we're still in this truck, that we'll have the views where we won't have to push as hard in the truck and I could take more time and do better on the videos. But we're like running, running, running. Like I haven't broke the drone out in how long? It's been forever. This dog, listen to this dog right here. That's you. You are whining. Whining. She gonna do it again. <gasps> what a jerk. She's like, who are you talking to? Look at that butts. Such a good girl. You are shit. Jerks. Absolute jerks. I'm second generation and knew what the life was. I mean, my grandpa drove for Yellow Freight. He retired with Yellow Freight. Um, I always said growing up I wanted to drive trucks, but then I got a little older and I was like, there's no way I What's would ever there, drive man? a truck. And now here I am driving a truck. Uh, left tractors fly on the road with Brittany and the kid. Oh, that's right. Okay. I know who you are now. We've been talking through Facebook, right? Never look back. I slept in my cab over for 13 years. Man, cab overs are some awesome looking trucks. And I almost bought one for the channel <laughs> for our first truck. I'm so glad I didn't because I went and looked at one and uh, climbed up in one. No, thank you. There is no, you, I had more room in my hot shot trailer than is this magnet gonna stick? Oh, look at that. No, it's not gonna stick. I had more room in my hot shot pickups than some of them cab overs do. Go, get down there. My pit has been whining all day today. Must be a solar flare. <laughs> She's just a whiny dog sometimes, man. She just. She's looking for that duck. Oh, that's what it is. That duck isn't up here. You can't have that duck, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna get her another one. Full moon dog nuts. Hello from New Zealand. Love you guys. Thanks for sharing your story. Love your attitude and honesty. Best wishes. I drive a, a K200 Kenworth six K200 Kenworth 620 horsepower, 50 ton gross. So that's a hundred thousand pounds. You pull a hundred thousand pounds in New Zealand. That KW handles it, huh? I drove over the road for 40 years and wouldn't change a thing. Really, you don't regret being gone all the time? It's so bad Walmart is training store employees. I call my great Dane Fat Bus because of you guys. Keep up the great work. You got a doppelganger out there, Fat Butts. I picked up cars at the ports and dropped them at dealerships. I mean, you guys know my story. My mom dated a guy that... Um, uh, we hauled cars out of um, Florida thirsty? Thirsty? at uh, CarMaxes, a lot of CarMaxes. He had a couple of dealerships like up around the Atlanta area that would go down to the uh, CarMaxes on their um, their auctions. And they'd buy up a bunch of cars and we would drive down there and pick them up. Wait, I'm going to get him. Look, you got one right here. Oh, the one broker that was paying more than the shipper was paying? Uh, why did I take so long to do something about that? I didn't know until I pulled up at that place. I mean, I don't think we took long at all. We, when we found out, we... Why did we wait so long to make a decision once, like, make a decision on what we were going to do? Because the load wasn't paying what, it, what, we, what we originally took it as. And we didn't know it was a triple brokered load until um, I talked to that guy. What do you think about Just Trucking Channel? I don't know who that is. You guys are jerks. I just went on load board, can't give specs, but 1,382 loads for step decks available. You make your own schedule. Oh, is that with the Landstar? So we can only do like 44,000 pounds, which is crazy to me. This truck weighs a lot more than the Mac. Uh, the, heck, the... The Cummins motor alone, I think, was six or 800 pounds more than the MP8, which That's is crazy. wild to me. I guess that's why it's so loud. 
Wayne says, what's up, guys? Love the channel. Please don't give up. Maybe Mackie's ready for bed. Turn the lights out and back. <laughs> no, she just wants that duck. She wants that. I don't She's know if you guys probably missed it, but Lita won a rubber duck out of the claw machine. And dummy me uh, squeezed it. And it's got a squeaker in it. And she goes crazy for those squeakers. In fact, I've got one of those squeakers in here. What did I do with that thing? Did it get tossed? Man, I hope not. It's just the little... It's just the little squeaker part. I hope it didn't get tossed because I like messing with her with it. You guys good now? I think it was in that tray, to be honest with you. Oh, that'll be a bummer if it's gone. It's not on the dash, is it? No. It's just a little white piece, like yeah, that big. It's like that clear plastic thing. Yeah. Ah, that's a bummer. I don't remember seeing it. Yeah, but she goes crazy for squeakers, man. Absolutely crazy. The amount of text messages you get from garbage, bro. Look at this stuff. smokes <clears throat> all right what i miss racing every day today uh let's see what i miss love you guys been a follower since you started in the ford you keep it real and i appreciate it also a f fellow trucker fat butts don't give a rip anymore yeah look at her you know the video i put out where like mackie was like messing with my water bottle up here the amount of people that yelled at me saying give that dog some water, you guys have, they have no idea. Like, she wasn't wanting water. She chews on these, on these water bottles. And that's what she was wanting. Yeah, she, she wanted me to drink my water so she could chew on the water bottle. She wasn't thirsty. They get plenty of water. But man, I had some angry people in the comments, man funny as hell how mad people get when they have no idea what they're talking about sometimes it's funny as shit to me uh, i should do more lives i agree i tell lead all the time let's sometimes when we plan to do a live something either happens or the internet isn't great or we're tired <laughs> or we're tired uh, i've grown up around trucking growing up and never wanted to do it because of the life I never saw my dad and now I've been driving 23 years and my dad is telling me to get out of trucking now yeah dude this is uh this is a lonely life man I, I don't know how people are like such hardcore truckers or and, and are like I wouldn't change a thing it's like man I get sad and depressed when we leave the house and I get to take lead and the dogs with me just the amount of stuff that pile up when we when we're gone like the amount of things that I have to do when we go home I, I don't have a life on the road because I drive a truck and then when I go home I don't have a life because of all the things that need to be done like cutting the grass or like the little projects that I want to do like work on my Mustang or just like there's just you just can't have a life man uh, will we be at Matt's 2025 probably not I don't know I don't it's just a truck show right I don't really care about what my truck really looks like, you know. Are you trying to get up here? Flat floor cab overs are nice. Yeah, the uh, cab over that I was looking at had the big giant hump between the driver's seat and the passenger seat. And then it was just like a little bitty coffin right here. What's up, Michael? What's up? Yo, look, look at her. I know, she's trying to steal my Gatorade bottle. She's doing it again. She just had water, so... I'm not gonna do it now that you're filming me. Get that bottle. You know you want to. Ugh. What? She burped. Oh. <laughs> Stunk. Disgusting. Let's see. Um, hello, uh, Lita and Robert from Columbus, Ohio. What's up, Anthony? You are sh You can't have that bottle. <laughs> she's, she's so mad about the duck. 
You don't even know what a duck is. I was born under a wandering star. Hit the like button, trucker shell. Uh, no, Vinny, absolutely illegal to have any alcohol in cab at any time. I don't think that's true, Dennis. Probably open alcohol. You, you can drink in your truck. No. You can't. Can you keep you can't keep beer in the truck. Like whatever you whatever you have, like if we were to drink tonight in the truck, we would have to we couldn't have any when we went to leave. Uh, enjoy your videos, longtime RGN holler. I'm on vacation in the Philippines. Your channel makes me ready to come home and hit the road. You're not missing much, Jersey. <laughs> I don't know what the RGN rates are like, man, but it's been rough. Um, let's see. I drive a 2024 Pete with a X15 7 speed Allison and do heavy haul, usually 110,000 pounds. And it does good. Been out here for 30 years. Really? Only a 7 speed, huh? I will slap you in your she face. She just doesn't know who you're talking to. She's freaked Look, out. Look, right here on the phone. Look, I'm talking to these people on the phone. What's going on with this thing? Look, there's Mackie. She's like, no, right wait, here. Where? On the phone. That's you. Look. Bubble lips. That's you right there. Look at that doggy. Look at that doggy. Uh, no fat butts. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You're a crybaby. Ow, ow, ow. She's like, you give me the duck. <laughs> You can't have it. Yeah, you can't have the duck. Stop whining. Stop whining. All right. Uh, what's one of your videos that had a crazy amount of views that surprised you? I tell you what videos that I did that that didn't get the views that surprised me, and that's when I cut my hot shot trailer in half. I thought those. I thought that video would do better. To be those videos would do better, honestly. Like I showed everything, cutting it in half, welding them up, wiring it. Man, those videos did not do good. <laughs> Got us in trouble. <laughs> Robert, is your PayPal address still the same? I was the one who won the AC units from you a while back and wanted to send you some money to help. Uh, yeah, that's the same, PayPal's the same. Uh, how's that AC been working out? I'd like to know, that battery powered AC. That's, the, that's who won that, Chad Thompson. Yeah, my hot shot pickup, man. That was, um, those were different times, huh? What do you mean? It just feels like a lifetime ago. Yeah. Like, we had no room in there. Like, you went to bed in the clothes that you were going to wake up in. Mm -hmm. I had an 81 Pete 362 cab over, big cam 855 Cummins, ran like a scalded eagle, but would beat you to death. Yeah. Mackie just wants uh, the noise that bottle makes. Yeah, she, if there's a squeaker in something, she will, where's her last toy we bought her? I was playing with her with it. Just stay there, please. Toys don't last long. Yeah, this is, this is what's left over. This was like five seconds. There was a squeaker in this thing. You did that. Look at that. You did that. Yeah, I think I put the camera on time lapse. So they're going to be able to see a very short time lapse of you killing this thing. And once, once she gets the squeaker out or all the stuffing, she's done with it. Like, she doesn't want it anymore. Put it on your head. Um, <laughs> hello from Tampa, Florida. What's up, El Pop? Oh, what's... That's, uh... Is that you, Roberto? You stay here. Seven speed. Is that a seven yeah. speed automatic that you have? You okay, fat butts? How does that work? Seven speeds doesn't seem like enough for a truck that's pulling that much weight. I was serious in another, not a semi truck, Benny. Not a not a semi truck. I've never had like a dream truck semi truck. It would be a personal vehicle. I come across more and more truckers that refuse to use dog leashes. Have you come across this on the road? We did run into one. Uh, the pit hater uh, hates other dog. Then they get mad at me for having an aggressive dog. 
yeah, we ran into an old guy, but I mean, his dog was friendly, but still like, it was some old trucker and his dog just come like barreling up towards our dogs. And like, it's a good thing you're good with doggies, huh? Cause they would have had a bad day that day between you and fat butts, huh? If we're out in a field by ourselves, we'll let them off the leash. But if we see other people with dogs or if there are people walking around or anything, then you guys go on a leash, huh? We've been slowly letting Mackie off the leash more and more. Like, I could let Fat Butts off of the leash, and we could walk across a busy interstate, and she would follow me. I wouldn't do it, but Nula's really good about listening. Uh, let's see. Hey, bro, came back from Detroit down 75. Kept looking for you. Even checked the rest areas like to take you guys out for a good dinner one day. I have a, a golden doggy Ziggy. Loves riding. Uh, Detroit on 75. Let's see. We were on 75 today. We came down through uh, Nashville. Nashville through Chattanooga. Uh, Chattanooga. Down 75. We stayed at the uh, Ringgold rest area last night. Mm -hmm. That rest area closes at 11 o'clock. Which is crazy. You can't oh. use the bathroom after 11 come up to Massachusetts no, no. Uh, yeah right <laughs> uh, yeah what's up you don't uh, want to ever drive a cab over it will tear you up but why don't you get a good local driving job that's what I did same money well it would kill the YouTube channel like I have to look at things a lot differently than what some people do because <clears throat> I can't lease on to somebody or else you guys would never get to see like outside of the truck um if it ever got out or anybody if anybody ever found out if i drove for somebody else i don't think it would last long because i have that many haters that they would call in on the company and be like yeah your driver cut me off or something that's why i see like i see a lot of youtubers live streaming driving down the road and uh, i i would never do that because um you know, they'll point the camera out the window. Like, I think Nomadic Brit. Nomadic Brit, he's been doing that. And I would have haters be like, oh, no, they uh, they cut me off on so-and-so battery. So-and-so battery. So-and-so road. Your battery thing popped up. Your low battery thing popped up. Saying that it was charged, and I read battery as I was talking oh. about it. Let me plug this back in. Stop looking for that duck. Is that charging? I think that's probably charging, huh? I mean, you just swipe down. I, I don't. Can you that. on this? Why wouldn't you be able to? Where does it show my battery? I don't know. I guess you don't have that on. Hmm. It should make a noise. It's charging. I don't know if it'll make a noise if I'm on. Uh... Listen, I don't know what you want, but you, but you can't have the duck. You cannot have it. Right. Is this thing loaded up? Uh, let's see. Lead and Robert, too. You two are the best trucking couple on YouTube. Thanks for your knowledge and entertainment. Do you want to plug that Thanks, in? Thanks, Wendell. You need to start talking more in the videos and being more involved. I'm not South Georgia Hotshot. You're South Georgia Hotshot. Yeah. See, you, they can't even see you because you're hiding. Stop hiding. I'm trying to make sure this dog isn't. There's lying. nomadic Brit right there. I was just talking about you, you British shithead. <laughs> How you doing, man? What's up, Mark? It's been a while, man. I need to call you. COVID days. Yes, seven speed auto. Hey, bro, from Cincinnati came back for. Oh, that, I've already read that. Yes, it's me, El Papa Trucking Roberto. Trying to get that bottle. You're in all the wires. Oh, yeah, I guess I can kind of see. That's a picture of you and your dogs for your uh, thing. Uh, they will fix it later, Vinny. Oh. Yeah, plans for the Mac. Um, I need to put the wiring harness in the Mac, and I need to find injectors for the Mac. Um, if you guys know of a good injector place, somebody told me about an injector place. Turns out they don't make injectors for the Mac. So... MPA injectors for a uh, 2008. 2008 
lead is a hottie? She is a hottie. Yes, you are. Why don't you sit back in the chair so they can see you? This dog was sitting up there. I'll punch that dog in the face. You trying to get up here? You're okay, fat butts. Come here. Do you want to sit up here? What's up, David? Uh, heading up to upstate New York? No, you ain't. You better not be, Mark. We will shun you. If Lita starts uh, talking to the camera, uh, who wouldn't get the work done? Who would never get shit strapped down? <laughs> if she would hold the camera, I would strap down. But she doesn't like to hold the camera, so she has to strap down. Where's that other Gatorade bottle? Look it. This what you want? Uh, why y'all never pick up loads coming to South Carolina? That's where we are now, Chad. We're in South Carolina. Hottie, hottie. Hey, are, are they, what requirements do they ask for to rent a truck? Um, when we rented the truck, when we broke down, we just had to send them our, um, all of our DOT information, right? And then like our, so. uh, our insurance. It's, it's pretty easy. The, the last time we rented the truck has been an absolute nightmare because they keep calling us or they keep sending us letters saying that we owe them like 30 bucks for IFTA. And I'll call up and, and I'm like, I file my own IFTA. And they'll be like, oh, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take this off of you. And then like a couple of months later, they'll, they'll send us another bill for $30 for IFTA. And I'll have to call up and be like, hey, I talked to so-and-so. They said they were taking care of this. Oh, he doesn't work here anymore. I'll get it taken care of for you. A couple months later, we'll get another bill. I'm like, hey, I talked to so-and-so. They said so-and-so doesn't work there anymore, but they were supposed to take, oh, they don't work here anymore. I'm like, are you guys kidding me? Stop, stop harassing me with this bill. Uh, what's up, man? We need some Fox Body content. I know, man. I need to. I need to get that fox body going, man. Um, what's my brother doing? Last I was talked to my brother, he was working for a uh, uh, cruise, uh, some type of cruise liner thing. Like if you called in, I think he was responsible for like trying to get you to up your room and buy like the drink packages and all of that stuff, you know. <clears throat> if there's only ten dollars. So they were trying to charge me for mileage through states. I'm like, you guys don't even know what states I drove through. I'm like, you guys are just like randomly sent, and I told them this too. I'm like, you guys are randomly sending me a bill for for uh, IFTA on, you don't know what miles we drove through, you don't know where I got fuel, and you're just gonna like randomly come up with a number and send me a bill? I'm like, you guys can't do that. I'm like, we file our own IFTA, it's all tracked through my GPS, Stop sending me bills. We're in PA headed to uh, VA. Brittany and I went back to flatbed dry van is garbage. Yeah, I don't know. I don't I, I don't know if I could ever do. The only way I could do dry van is if I made a lot of money. Because this seems like a boring job to like swing open doors and back in and you know how fat I would be? If I didn't have to get out and strap loads or anything? I don't know. Hello, Robert and Lita. What's up, Jesse? When is the wedding, woman? I don't know. What's that place that you wanted to get married at? Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. Where's that at? New York. New York. It's Conestoga is where it's at. Man, I wish I could afford a Conestoga. I'm an owner-operator CDL. Hot shot out of uh, Washington State. What's your opinion about running the West Coast? Or should I be running the country? Um, Jake, when we did Hot Shot, I was making really good money bouncing from Salt Lake City to California and back. But then you have to deal with California. Um, Washington State. We went up to Washington State a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Absolutely gorgeous. Not much freight. You might be able to get stuff. So here's the thing. You either have to stay west of, of the Rocky Mountains or you have to stay east of the Rocky Mountains. It's really hard to make money going east of the Rocky Mountains, but sometimes you can make good money going west of the Rocky Mountains, if that makes any sense. So you're gonna kill yourself going east to try to make money east of the Rocky Mountains, and then it still might not work out for you, if that makes any sense. Eat your like, bottle. 
I would um, I would try west of the Rockies first. Like I found a pretty good lane, uh, California to or Salt Lake to California back and forth. I don't know if it's still viable. It's probably not. I think everything's gone to crap. But that's the whole reason I bought land in in, um, in Utah. But then we bought the Mac, and then the Mac, come to find out the Mac was illegal for California, and then we bought our step deck, and then our step deck is illegal for California. So it was like a double whammy. And now we have this truck, but it's our step deck is still illegal for California, and I'm just kind of like, screw California. You know what I mean? Um, if you want to know how to run your state just do whatever california says not to do and then that's that's how you do it because california is a f joke new york tomorrow then back to pa then uh down to alabama then across to savannah then back up to detroit for the six that's crazy that you can plan your trips that way bro that is wild goal is a uh, safety term yeah that's on my mirrors yeah, it says that was a sticker. Why does it say, oh, why does it say goal on your driver mirror? Yeah, this was a company truck. Um, yeah, he just explained it. It was just a sticker to remind uh, drivers to get out and look before they back into a spot. It was a van. They were a van company. Reefer. Even then, you should get out and look, even with it, whatever trailer. Yeah. Is Lita going to make you wear a pumpkin on your head when you get married in Sleepy Hollow? Why is she whining so much? I don't, because she doesn't know who you're talking what? to. Come here. I'll love on you. She doesn't know who you're talking to. She's freaked out. I'm dude. talking to the phone. Right here. Stop whining. You're okay. I'm going to beat your ass. <laughs> I'm going to get you. What a jerk. What is wrong with you? Stop whining. Stop whining. Here, I, here's a bone. I, I gave her that. Here. She don't care. Here's your bone. Stop whining. Stop whining. What a jerk. Hey, who sent me those gloves? Are you in the chat? I who sent the box of random gloves? Yeah, who sent the, the box of gloves? Lita, blink twice if you need help. They can't even see you. you better, I know. You better start blinking. Now's your chance to get out. <clears throat> Let's see. We took a load uh, to Washington from Illinois, paying forty five hundred. Coming back to Illinois from Washington, paid twenty five hundred. So yes, West Coast to East is crap. Yeah, yeah. I would stay. <sighs> we try not to go west of Kansas City or east of Pittsburgh. With that being said, the lanes that we used to run, it doesn't even matter anymore. We can go to spots that we did really good in before, and they're completely dead now. Where the F do you sleep with those two dogs? <laughs> so I sleep on the bottom with the dogs, and Lita sleeps up top by herself. I mean, we could sleep together, but he moves a I lot. I toss and turn. And I need to sleep. I'm so not... Much. I'm I, telling you, I, I just. I can't not sleep. I get like extremely crabby when I don't like sleep well. So, like having somebody move around all night, like I can't, I can't do it. And at, at the house, like we have a bigger bed and it doesn't, like you don't feel it like shifting around so much. So, it's not a big deal. Doesn't it make sense that brokers are taking the majority of the load, seeing that the prices on the shelves are still... Um, I don't agree with that. Because I'll be honest with you. Brokers are having to fight each other just as much. I think it's the shippers or the receivers, whoever is responsible for paying for the shipping. They're the ones that are being cheap. Because these places... Let's say you own... Um, I don't know. I, I don't know. Say, say I owned a company where I had to ship stuff. The amount of brokers that are calling all these people now. We get calls. Lita gets a call four to five times a day trying to uh, 
get dispatchers to sign up for us. The shippers and receivers are getting brokers calling them four to five times a day. And all of these brokers are like telling these people, hey, I can get your product shipped for this amount of money. So if they save money, they still switch to that broker. But what happens is now that broker has it. Now another broker calls them and says, I can beat their price. So if you think about it, brokers are the reason that the rates are low, but it's because the amount of brokers, the amount of illegal brokers that are in this industry now um, have run the rates down. I don't think they're pocketing. I think sometimes they get over on you, but I think overall, the majority of it is just brokers cutting each other's throats. Just like truckers cut each other's throats, you know? You can call up on a load and a, a broker will be like, I can give you this load if you can beat this other guy's price. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. Mackie's anxiety is off the chain. Yeah, she just can't figure out who I'm talking to. Look, I'm talking to this phone right here. You're such a weirdo. I sent gloves a while back from, from Amazon. Wait a second. You sent us gloves from Amazon? Because I don't think this was from Amazon. Uh, I don't remember. I mean, we got the box. Um, so we were working on the APU so we couldn't start the APU for uh, dinner tonight, Jesse. So I had two fluffer nutters, and then when we finally got the APU going, yeah, see, it's just a cardboard box packed with gloves, and there's no name on it. Tell Mackie thanks for watching and she'll calm down. Thanks for watching. If I haven't said it before, if you haven't heard me say it before, thanks for watching. Yeah, this was like USPS. Yeah, this is a USPS box. I don't think we ever got Amazon gloves. Uh, fan mail. Yeah, that's our fan mail right there. Thanks, angry. And come back to New Mexico so I can buy you guys some dinner. Man, we were looking at a New Mexico load the other day too, man. Like it was that rough where I was like, Lita, should we go to New Mexico? Saw your last video showing in-house carry doesn't mean good. No, I meant like um, like a direct shipper. Like that, uh, that load that I did for that guy is technically a direct shipper because I didn't go through a broker. He's actually a buddy of mine and uh, what happens is a lot of people are like, just get direct shippers, just pass out your card, get direct shippers. And what happens with these direct shippers is uh, because we're only a one truck company, I don't have the trucks that might be in the area. So if they call me up and they're like, hey, you know, I, I've got a load in Wisconsin next week of let's say some tractors going to Savannah or something. Can you do that? And I can't give them a guaranteed, yeah, I can do that. But if I do, I have to be there for that load, um, even if I have to deadhead and not make any money to get to it, or else you lose that direct contact. So being a one truck company, it's next to impossible to have direct customers unless, unless you can find some lanes to run. If I could find like a direct customer that picks up in Valdosta and goes to, let's say, Ohio, and then another customer in Ohio that comes back to Valdosta. But lining that up was like next to impossible. Are you falling asleep right now? If you're sleepy, go to sleep. <laughs> jerk. I've been running uh, Louisiana to Texas and New Mexico. I'm afraid to go into Texas because uh, it just seems like it's bad. More bathroom stories. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dan's hotshot trucking and outdoor. Is there a way we can chat? Jake wants to chat with you. Hello from PA. What's up, Kevin? Looks like it was sent to your mail. How long ago was that, Angry? He said maybe a month ago, but don't quote him on actual... Oh, well, we never got those. Somebody signed us up for that stuff, too, that we need to go in and fill out. Yeah. Hey, fam, so glad I uh, caught you again. I think Mackie's upset because you're giving a camera more attention than her. Yeah, that's probably it. She's sleeping. If I hold this and act like I'm talking to you, would that be okay? 
Isn't joining right? you from uh, Nova yeah, Scotia, so. Canada. So adorable, she wants to know everything. She is a shithead. <laughs> you are a shithead. Come, come back. Sorry, man. Uh, WAA shower with Landstar step deck. Um, 320 to 550 a mile sometimes. So Landstar is still doing that good, huh? Brokers equals someone that sits on their ass at home. Pretty much, Harley. Is that you, Harley, in that picture? I keep meaning to ask you that. Surely that's not you. Give her the duck. She's going to take over the show. <laughs> she would. If we gave her that duck, you guys would see her murder that duck in literal seconds. Literal seconds. Wouldn't you? I don't think there's another easy duck to grab. Oh, what's in the what's in the claw machine? Ducks. Oh, it's a bunch of ducks? Yeah. It's a bunch of ducks and like aliens. <laughs> hey! So if I gave her that duck, I have to win you a duck? Do we let her no. shred that duck live? That duck. Live right now? Do we let her shred that duck live on camera but right that, now? That duck is lucky. It was the first try with one dollar that never happens okay. with those claw machines that girl that lady in there said there was a girl that was trying to get ducks out of that machine and spent a bunch of money trying to get ducks really? out of that machine she saw me walk out with the ducks she's like good job yeah <laughs> yeah dude that's funny uh what size block do i have in the mustang that's a 351 windsor uh, someone said yes, and some, uh, Michael said the boss said no. <laughs> Somebody else said yes. Where's Ratman? He he um he's been going on a lot of vacations. I don't think he does YouTube anymore. I think he does TikTok, and I think he's still on Instagram. Oh my gosh, is that what she wants? I I let her out, but she didn't do anything. She just ripped ass in this truck what is that do you feel better my goodness yeah does that mean she has to go i don't know is that what she needs I, she peed out there but like i was out there for a little bit holy smokes Man, you are being pain in the butt my goodness did you sit on a whoopee cushion I don't want her doing it in the truck, so. No, I don't want her doing it in the truck. Are you okay to stay in here, five butts? Hmm? Oh, I don't know. Will you stay with daddy? Let me get this dog out again. She just ripped ass in here. Maybe if you have a bit Do you want to stay in here with a tree? Huh? Do you want to stay in here with a tree? Are there leashes down there? No, fat butts. I guess, man. I guess everybody's going. Man, you guys are crazy. Okay. Come on. Come on. Stay, fat buds. No, let's stay. I don't know if the camera picked up on that, but she ripped ass. All right. And she did, we just let her out. We just, she was just out. She's so hard headed. Thought that's what I heard. Yeah. Did you guys hear that? Uh, did someone ask where the head went? The, uh, the head's still in the truck. I think the string broke. It used to have a little string up here, and that string broke. Yeah. 
Anyways, um, who's on the toilet watching this live before taking my shower? Uh, Landstar takes 35% if you own trailer, owner operator. Holy, 73%? So if that load paid $3, you would only get 73% of that $3? Or is the price that's posted what you get afterward? Or... Yeah, Ratman stopped YouTube because somebody showed up at his house. Someone shows up at my house, you're getting drug in the house. Um, Landstar load board is free to download. Yeah, but that price that you that you see is different than what the people that actually work for Landstar get. A lot of stuff at Home Depot, the, the Halloween stuff is kind of garbage. I don't shit where I sleep, no bucket in my truck ever. I don't have a bucket in here. never coming out yeah I mean they might come out but it won't be the way they wanted to come out hello from Enterprise Alabama what's up Donald uh, let's see what did I miss when I was letting those dogs out for the third time uh, I do want to let you guys know you have uh, two you two have a fantastic channel with real world everyday life of this retarded profession we do absolutely appreciate it thanks jake y'all nasty run what happened oh was that was that with mackie what i miss oh it's not a stuffed duck now that she's gone let me show you what this duck is i don't know what she did with it it's a big rubber duck that she went out of the machine just a big rubber duck that she won out of the machine and it squeaks and Mackie heard it squeaking so she's been she's been going crazy for it <laughs> she is a shithead uh, come to Lincoln Illinois guys and I'll take you guys to lunch uh, we were just in Granite City Illinois I don't know how far that is from Granite City I had a chihuahua shit in my seat because I didn't let them out fast enough. Yeah, Mackie will tear that thing up. She is, I'm telling you, she is a professional dog chewer. Uh, no, the, all the gloves are, are completely different, Angry. Um, yeah, they're all completely, it's just a box of like all kinds of stuff like like there's some nice yellow ones in here there's a bunch of leather ones in here there's some uh, a lot of these yellow ones there's some red ones some brown ones Some of these, uh, some of these uh, cloth rubber dipped ones I've been using for fuel. But yeah, like there's no name on it. The name is our address. Uh, am I happy that I purchased a new used truck? I have my days on it to be completely honest it's um there's I still have uh I still have regrets staying in the business to be honest like these last two months have been the absolute worst we've ever had you know it's one thing to be like screw this and just sit at home not doing anything but it's another thing to actually be on the road and actually trying to make money and being stuck everywhere and not being able to find good loads that's when it's kind of frustrating, you know? Um, you 
sent them about three weeks ago. Let me see. We've been on the road for... They might, they might still be there then, Angry. Uh, if it was three weeks ago... I think we've been on the road for three weeks. So they might be sitting there. Granite City is only 45 minutes from you. Your pit bull shit in the truck twice doing a carrier driver with me every where it couldn't stop. Hello, checking in from SoCal. What's up, Co? Where's everyone at? What's up, Jeff? Uh, Jeff's a uh, broker. He's one of those god dang brokers. He'll tell you there's no money. The brokers aren't making money, man. I mean, some of them will get over on a driver every once in a while. But I would say that's that's pretty rare. What's up, 8 Point? Yeah, you caught a live, man. Let me see. I never coming out. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything here. South Carolina. Yeah, we're in South Carolina. You know, they came out with a quiet pipe exhaust for your APU. I mean, it's pretty quiet. And I got the, the squeak to finally stop, too. I took a uh, pry bar, and I pushed hard on the pry bar and got Lita to go under there and tighten it as I pushed on it. If you two are ever in uh, STL area and need a place to crash for a few days, we have a spare house that sits empty. What's STL? S STL? Hello from Beloit, Wisconsin. What's up, Dan? Are you the Dan that helped us? Was that is this Dan? Granite City's two hours south of you. Man, I remember we used to be able to go to Granite City, and it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a problem at all to find a load. That was you, Dan. Dan's the goat, man. I still dream about that chicken you guys made for us, St. Louis. I'm sorry, Chad. I'm retarded. St. Louis, Missouri. STL is considered St. Louis, Missouri. We were just over by St. Louis, Missouri. If brokers are not making money, why are there so many scammers doing it? Uh, the scammers keep 100% of the profit. So the scammers, what they're doing, at least what the scammers are doing with us, um, is they just never pay you for the load. So they can tell you they're going to pay you $5 a mile all day long, but they just you, you just never get paid. That's how you pronounce it in the United States Air Force? I didn't know that. STL? St. Louis is STL? What's up from Texas? Come on over here, y'all. Uh, how's Texas doing? Are you still doing... Uh, Hot shot. Big fan been watching you since your pickup days. We still have that pickup too, man. That thing that thing will scoot and boogie, man. We put that thing on the weight reduction a long time ago. Sure is nice to have a truck that runs. It's that uh, truck payment that comes every month that's it's it runs now, but man, I hope it keeps running. Yeah, spam calling. Man, we get so... We get so many spam calls. And it's... I get a lot of calls for, like, home warranties and, like, home security systems. What will be uh, your next career change? I don't know. I was hoping... I was hoping I could just hit the lottery. And then uh, just fiddle fart with stuff. You know? Time for a cruise? I completely agree. Have the same 250, it's fast. Did you put it on the weight reduction? Mine's on the weight reduction and it is, it is scary fast. You got, a, uh, you got a new truck in the future? You hinted in the, oh, not, a, not like, it would be a personal truck. Uh, greetings from Port St. Lucie, Florida. What's going on in Florida? 
Greetings from Germany. Thanks for all your great entertainment. Man, we get some viewers from around the world. That is just wild to me. People that don't ever even truck or anything. And you guys watch me. I don't understand. I'm just boring. I don't get it. I have a hard time editing my videos. Uh, Hot Shot Dave got out of Hot Shot. Then he started doing Pokemon cards. And then I noticed he started going back to the trucking stuff. I don't think he drives a truck anymore. But uh, I think he started talking about trucking again. Yeah. Yeah. Usually if it's... Uh, I'll say this. I've never been screwed by a broker that spoke English. I retired full-time uh, YouTuber now. Oh, you got a YouTube channel too, Danny? Danny Savage Draft Guru. Oh. You don't have any content. Greetings from uh, Homo Sasa, Florida. Did I say that right? Homo Sasa, Florida. What do I think of the bridge collapse? I think there's more to it. Um, weren't they saying they retrieved the uh, black box and it's missing the last two minutes before it hit the bridge? I don't know how true that is, but anything your government tells you, you can't believe. Not a trucker. I do drive 40 foot, 45 foot coach and limos part-time, retired heavy equipment mechanic. Yeah, there's something uh, there's something weird about that bridge, man. That's less than ten minutes from you, huh? Yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think of the bridge? Um, I think it's kind of weird that. Um, I mean, obviously you see the lights go out a few times, but then there's like a a big puff of black smoke, and somebody said that could be them restarting the engines. But just the way, I don't know, man. It's just, that's a very important bridge for us. And I guess they don't use tugboats going through there. Why they don't have something around that, those bridge piers to keep them ships from bumping into it is beyond me. I mean, the track record for that boat breaking down and wrecking into stuff is, is, is crazy. And then your president came out and was like, oh, don't worry about it. We're going to fund everything. Meaning taxpayers are going to pay for something that the insurance company boat should be taking care of. Am I going to post this live on the channel? I don't know, Blue Horse. Should I? Uh, your, your patience and determination is inspiring. You are uh, so non-biased, very traditional moral way of life. I've never watched a more genuine, kind person who is also filming himself making a living. It's tough sometimes, man, because I know you guys say don't let haters bother me, but like, I mean, a lot of a lot of YouTubers will say this too, man. They could read through thousands of comments, but sometimes just that one negative comment will just um, send you into a tailspin where you're just like. I, I wish I knew where these people lived or they would walk up to me in a truck stop. Oh, you live in Homo so Sosa, Florida too? We got two Homo Sosa, Florida people in here? Have a good night. Uh, getting ready for a day tomorrow. Big day for the two-year-old. Oh, nice, Joseph. Gonna hide some eggs. I keep forgetting it's um, um, Easter tomorrow. They use tugs. That happened after the tugs were released. Really? Uh, load miser and haul and cash. I've heard of load miser, I think. Haul and cash. I don't know who that is. Haul and cash. Is that the guy that went to go do um, work in an oil field? Home uh, Sasa. Home of Sasa. Ever thought of buying a van and expediting? Absolutely not. 
Absolutely not. I think uh, that would be the worst thing to do is to buy a van. I thought about it, and I thought about doing like the uh, Penske moving truck deal too. I almost got into that. I think if you wanted to do something like that, you'd want to get into like what Truck and Travel does. They basically they have a semi. They actually have a bigger sleeper than us, and they've got a little bitty box truck, and they run uh, that expedited stuff. Uh, let's see. I get eight posts. Damn it. Hello, I started Big College Football Channel. Oh, you got eight posts? I didn't see anything, Danny. If I click on that and I go to your channel. Oh, you're just doing like community posts. I was looking for videos. RB Top 10 rankings just dropped. Oh, it's all football stuff. Benson, Florida State. I have no idea about football stuff, man. Foosball is the devil. I don't watch any sports. I just don't get it. I really don't understand sports. There's some really good info on YouTube about the boat crash. The boat that took off in front of it was escorted by tugs. It costs extra have tugs escorted in you. They are very cheaply operated. I mean, if that's the case, if, if, if it was somebody just being too cheap, that's kind of crazy. Uh, about the transmission on Instagram. Was that you, Seg, that uh, said it's the uh, shifter uh, handle? I had a couple of people say that it's probably this uh, shifter handle thing that's known to go out. It's like $3,000 for this shifter thing. Uh, why didn't you get a long hood truck? Because they're overpriced and bad on fuel. Uh, ever thought of buying a van? You guys are the oldest subscription I've been with. Wanted to hot shot, but went OTR. That sucks, so I drive a dump now. I mean, I think you can make some good money doing dump truck if you're in the right areas. Drove over the bridge when it was new, 1977. You, you're that old, Robert? You were driving when you were 19, in the 1977? Do you have any content? Let me see. You got a Mustang for a picture. Oh, you do have, you do have a video. You have eight videos. Is this your car running? Uh, Mustang Week 2009. 86.50 Mustang. I'll have to come back and watch these videos if, if these are your car. Uh, Port of Baltimore should provide tugboats around bridges at no charge. Yes, yeah, something needs to be going on. Harley, it says you have four, 46 subscribers, but I don't see uh, any content. What's going on with that? Harley to die for? Looks like you're in a wedding dress. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, Robert. No, oh, sir, look at my message. Uh, I can't. I'm using my phone to... Um, keep it private too many creepers i mean with a profile picture like that i can completely understand uh i used to watch sports but those guys shouldn't be getting paid what they do for what they do i mean if they bring in the people that are willing to pay for tickets i could plead they they should be getting paid if they're not getting paid somebody else's pockets are getting paid so i think people uh People need to stop looking up to these uh, these Hollywood actors and these sports people that aren't like you and me. I mean, they have money, so they, they're so separated from the real world. And then they're trying to give us advice. Go to community. Yeah, Danny, I, I have no idea about sports, man. Uh, we're at a pilot, Robert, in uh, South Carolina. What's going on in uh, shipping? Has great info on the ship deal. Oh, doggy's here, hold on. What's up, girls?
All right. Mackie had to poop. That fart was something else, huh? Yes. Holy smokes. Let me see here. You're right, this thing does not keep up with. Uh... Hey. She's oh, she's sniffing to... the head. She's Everybody want to know where the head was. Oh, yeah, it fell off. Yeah, I tell them about that string. You're crazy, Mackie. You know that? Are you thirsty? How about we don't do any wine? All right. How about that? Yeah, Mackie had to poop, I guess. All right. 300 a day in Alabama. Is that the uh, dump truck? Port of Baltimore should provide uh, tugboats around bridges at no charge. I agree completely. Like, could you imagine somebody saying, I'm gonna, I have to charge you for this so you don't hit something that's gonna cost people millions of dollars? That's crazy. Uh, remind me to check um, Seg's message on Instagram. Uh, I'm a Taylor Swift fan, so therefore a football fan now. Oh, really? Really, Joe? No, that's, that's not right, right? I heard a lot of football fans getting mad that it kept cutting to Taylor Swift during all those games. I had a 1987 sedan stroked with a Vortec 35 years ago, high 10 seconds. Isn't it crazy now though that like all of that and now you can run 10 second pass on motor like no problem. No hauling cash is covered. Uh, six worked with TP for a while. I think he had a trailer sales place and then jumped in with Hot Shot and then did Bulls, then bought a few trucks, a lot of information. Those tugs were not escorting the first ship. They were going back to their home port. What did I do with my old truck? What you mean, Scott? I, I still have the Mac. The Mac is still sitting in the driveway, if that's what you mean by my old truck. Um, maybe you should hire someone in the truck and then, man. I don't trust anybody, man. You can't trust anybody. Good night. Stay safe. Thanks for stopping by, PHB. Uh, Joe, that's funny. I missed it. What's up with the Mac? The Mac is just sitting in the driveway. I'm still trying to find uh, some good injectors for it. She's trying to get this head now. You can't chew on that head. You better not. You better not chew on that head. Uh, tubs are actually very expensive to operate and their power to weight ratio is amazing, but uh, moving a 100,000 ton cargo ship is not easy. Just saw we were live. What's up, truck pilot? Load Miser got out of semi and drove for TP, then was doing a lot of cars. Uh, oh, your grandpa's the one that's driving in those videos? Your car, but your grandpa driving? Mackie dropped a log. I bet she did. Born 1961. Hey, Robert, you've been able to mend the broken bridge with your brother? No. Uh, you guys got our vote? The vote for what? What are we voting on? Uh, where are we heading to tomorrow's? Uh, we're not going anywhere tomorrow, Scott. Sunday. When you have time, clearing the fault code cost fifteen thousand uh, dollars. There's supposed to be a, a fuse that you can pull and clear those fault codes for that transmission. What's your PO box? I'll send you uh, doggy steps for the truck. I use one in my peak couple of dog treats. My dogs are afraid of steps. Yeah, they, they are like terrified it. of steps. Uh, Angry Yank posted the fan mail info. I appreciate that. Hi, Rob. You get your uh, bearing fixed on your trailer? Yeah, all they did was repack it. I thought they were going to fix it to where we could run oil in that hub again. I think I'm just going to have to take my trailer somewhere else because it seems like... It seems like they can't get that thing figured out and they just pack the bearing. I don't agree on just packing the bearing. Mackie is ready to pounce. Hi, uh, bearing fixed. No respect in trucking anymore. Too many center lane fuel island parking drivers don't have respect. I know. I, I hate truck drivers now. They are some of the rudest people ever. Robert, does Lita have a name for the head or what? Is it? Do you, do, have you named that thing? No. You bought it. You're the one that bought that. Mm. I didn't buy it. We found it at home. 
Should name it Shithead. Should name it Joe Biden. <laughs> old old Joe. Is it just sitting here? Yeah. I mean, he looks better than Joe, don't he? I don't know. Robert, don't get political. Orange man bad. You know, my head up here. I'm everything. sorry. Lita drive the Mac and you drive the Kenworth. Who takes the dog? Lita, uh, if 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 some crazy scenario and we had to split the trucks up, uh, Lita would have to drive the good truck, the nice, the nicer of the trucks. Plus, it's automatic. There's no way she could ever live without me, though. Let's be honest. You would, you would go crazy. How come this thing won't spin now? Didn't I have this thing spun I earlier? Know. I don't know. I've been outside with the dogs. Why? Like half this, cause like. Ow! Ow, the head just, it just, ow, ow, it's stuck in my hair. I need a better, I tried to do this live on my DJI and we could not figure it out for the life of us. Uh, something's um, different. Where are you headed tomorrow? Yeah, we're not going anywhere tomorrow, Scott. Monday we're going uh, Indiana or Illinois, I can't remember. <laughs> it's Indiana. It's Indiana? I knew it was I something. Somebody asked that already. There was a drinking game. Oh. If they cut to her, you had to drink. Yeah, I heard they cut to her a lot. I have a lot of people that watch sports stuff, and there's a lot of butthurt people. I don't, I don't understand sports. I don't ever watch football. Just shove it down in there. I mean, it was in there. Punch him in the face. No, no. was in there and then you moved it again. I'm sorry. See, your chair yeah. is knocking it out is yep. what's happening. What state is worse for traffic, New Jersey or New York City? Uh, Long Island is pretty nutty. Going over that, um, going over the George Washington Bridge and having to deal with like uh, all that traffic over there. I would say uh, if you drive a truck, do it once just to say that you've done it and then don't ever do it again because it's a it's a freaking nightmare good night robert and lita stay safe thanks for stopping by mark talk to uh, area diesel service they can probably rebuild your injectors or get you new ones they've worked with several other youtube channels i follow area diesel service save that area diesel service see that yeah i watched a video earlier with a little girl arm pumping at drivers and I was surprised at the amount of drivers that didn't honk. It's funny because uh, uh, as we were driving over some bridges today, there was a bunch of people in boats out in the water doing that, huh? Yeah. And I didn't notice them at first, but That's I caught them like kids. towards the end, I was blowing the horn for them. Area diesel? Area diesel service for injectors. Uh, I, think, I think Lita got lost. Oh, this must be old chat. Oh, I'm in old chat. All right, let me catch up real fast. Uh, call it Brandon. That's a great idea, Brandon. <laughs> uh, Sleepy Joe. More so foreigners, unfortunately. Do you watch Just Trucking? I don't. Does Lita have a CDL? No. Still racing at 63 years old. Started racing in 1979. Looks way better than Creepy Crooked Joe. Um... Somebody said MD. Lita got lost walking the dogs. Look up wrestling. Uh, Al Snow. We want head. Look up wrestling Al Snow. Big companies are telling their drivers to stay in the middle because uh, middle lane causes more accidents. I wonder what truck brand and trans type would be what I pick. Uh, 13 speed. I like the T680 because it rides good and I think it's sharp. Uh, I don't know about the motor. The more I read up on this Cummins, the more I'm afraid. Um, automatic trucks suck in snow when the wheels spin. It cuts power so you're stuck. I know we got stuck in snow the other day. Uh, Sleepy Joe's getting abused. 
<laughs> you were abusing Joe there, baby. Louisiana Maybe you were, Highways. You were the one that was smashing them. I'm in. going Memphis, Tennessee to South Carolina Monday. I'll wave at you guys as we pass by each other. Let me see. We will be going. If you're coming from uh, Memphis, oh yeah, yeah. So we we would probably be passing. What do we do with our extended 40 foot or hot shot trailer? Did we sell it? No, we still have it. Actually, I just moved it to a buddy's of mine because we want to get our driveway worked on. We got to have some trees cut down. I need to build a RV carport so I can turn the carport that we have now into a bigger shop for the Mustang. But we still have that. Auto trucks and snow, uh, lock your diffs and turn off traction control only way. I didn't turn off traction control. I didn't think to do that. It sucks with an automatic because you can't rock them like you can in a stick where you can just like pop it in first or reverse real fast because the you have to push in the brake to change it. It's a nightmare. The automatic's a nightmare. According to the award she won, she's the best artist of all time. I mean, a lot of people watch her. And she is making some bank. She's making a lot of money. So she's doing something right. I guess having a bunch of uh, bad relationships and then writing songs about it works. I should write a song about all my exes. Yeah. Would I pick up P. Diddy as a hitchhiker? Isn't that crazy? Everything that's going on right now, too, with the whole P. Diddy... And uh, Nickelodeon, which, I mean, conservatives have been saying stuff about Nickelodeon and Disney for all this time. And like, oh, conspiracy theorist. Like, no, we're pretty sure you guys are fiddling with our kids. And now we're coming to find out Nickelodeon is uh, fiddling with our kids. I don't know. I always thought all those kid shows were, like, weird. Like, they just said, like, weird stuff all the time. I'm like, that's just, like, weird for like a kid to, to be like doing for a kid's show. Like, I, I don't know. That was you splashing in the toilet? Bro, that was so nasty. Like I couldn't figure out what the guy was doing. I'm like, what is going on over there? I don't know. I don't ever have any weird stuff like that happen in the bathrooms. Don't piss on my back and tell me it's raining. The best gearbox was the manual Eaton Fuller Road Ranger 13. Speed kicked ass 18. Stop wanking and deal with it. I wish I had a 13 speed in here. They need to have a trucker appreciation day. I think they do, Robert, but nothing ever gets done. You get Lita an Easter gift. I got myself a duck. She won herself a duck out of the machine. Yep. And they all want Mackie to shred it alive. Oh, no. Yeah. No. Somebody said they'll donate and buy you a new duck. Okay, but that duck was first try with the dollar. Like the Where'd you get the dollar from? I found it in my wallet. Oh. I didn't have enough quarters, but then I you found it. You just walked by and was like, I want that duck? I was like, oh, there's ducks there. I wanted to get the green one, but... Mm. Do, I, I, picked the, I picked the easiest one. And do we have any dollars in here? Well, you're not going to... You're not gonna shred the I'm a, I'm a, I know, but if I can run in there and win a duck real fast, do you have any more dollars? I don't know. I'll run up there and see if we can, if I can win a duck, <laughs> and then we'll let Mackie shred that thing live on camera. <laughs> oh my god! Ain't that right, Mackie? I think. Look I got at her looking at us. She's like, "Am I getting something?" Huh? I think I picked the duck to get because I wanted a green one but she's looking for a dollar for me I'm gonna go win a duck give Mackie duck someone says Barney was rubbing them out <laughs> if you ever hear splashing in the stall beside you it's a guy washing his drawers is this the only one you have I mean it only took me one dollar oh I know but I just need to know <laughs> what if I want to win multiple ducks Dude, this truck's gonna be a mess. She's gonna eat. Alright. You talk to them. I'm gonna go win a duck so you guys can see Mackie shred a duck. Good luck. Yeah. Talk to them, woman. Yeah.
Sorry, she's not getting my duck because I, I never, I never win at those claw machines ever. So I decided to try it. Like he usually does the claw machine stuff, but they're usually those like really crappy plastic ones. Do you know what I mean? Um, that you can't grab anything with. So. I don't know if he's gonna get a duck or not, honestly, because like I said, I picked the best one to get. And I don't know if I like got through that, but like it's a metal claw so you can actually grab the shit out of the claw machine. So, I mean, but he's pretty good at him. So maybe, maybe he'll get a duck. Don't you chew on those wires. Don't do it. I mean, I don't know, like, I don't know how many people heard it, but like, there was a girl that was trying to get a duck out of that claw machine, like, I don't know, I guess a couple days ago, the lady that's like working at the pilot told me that, and she was like, she put a bunch of money in that machine and didn't get a duck, and she told me good job because I walked out of there with a duck. Yeah, it's like a big, it's like a giant rubber duck like it's like the big ones um like one of those big rubber like squeezy ducks but like a an actual rubber duck but it's like gold glitter they've got a bunch of glitter ones in there that's why i wanted one uh no he knows how ratchet strats um work I do, I do them wrong, apparently, so, I mean, they still strap down, but, like, he does a lot of the work, but you don't see him doing it because then he's, like, filming, I don't know, we both work the same, pretty much. Uh, yeah, I am from Connecticut, I know they charge per mile, we have the permit for Connecticut, but I don't plan on going to that state even though I'm from there it's just we don't have any business being in that state with a spread axle the streets are a lot narrower so and it's just those are for 48 foot people <laughs> uh, I don't know how to speak Spanish anymore because we lived in Brazil so I was like in third grade when we lived in Brazil and because I picked up Portuguese so fast, like I was like instantly fluent, fluent in it because when you're a kid you pick up on languages a lot quicker than an adult does. So now I don't remember which is Portuguese and which is Spanish, which is kind of a problem when you're talking to Spanish people because different words mean different things. So I don't really want to offend anybody when I'm speaking Spanish. So that's why I don't speak Spanish. She's chewing on a water bottle. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I'm, I'm not afraid of hard work. Neither of us are. Uh, DirecTV is not, was not an easy job uh, most days. So that doesn't, um, that doesn't really bother me. Two hours later, Robert comes back saying he's broke up, mad punched the machine, broke the glass, and now we gotta move to a new truck stop before the police come. Run 60 foot stretch in CT, not bad. But like, where do you run it though? Like I would never, there's just some places, like since I like, fr I'm from there, there's just some places that we don't belong and we would get sent there just because of how our luck is. So the harness, is in the Mac, like not in the Mac, like not hooked up in the Mac. It's like in the, 
it's in the truck itself. I don't know when we're going to have time to work on that. His kids were supposed to put it in, but I didn't think that was actually going to happen. It's just like a lot. I, I think we're going to struggle with it, so I don't know when we're going to be able to get that done. That claw machine sucks, dude. I told you it's lucky. That claw machine sucks. I could not. I was, I was like, I'll try to win an alien. I don't care. I blew all but a dollar. <laughs> I couldn't. God dang it. I tried, Mackie. What's going on? I'm told. I told you. I got the easy duck, dude. Yeah, the claws retarded. I got the easy one. Like it won't. Like you can't get it wrapped around, and when it does, it just drops the dang stuff, huh? I'm sorry. She's she's fine. She don't need to like sorry. tear anything up. I tried. I tried. Well, you guys will get to see her shred that this this thing in a video. Yeah. Not not getting that duck. <sighs> that duck's lucky. <laughs> yeah, act like nothing happened. You guys uh told him you need help, right? No. Send help right away. <laughs> <clears throat> no, well. they were just talking about like the Mac harness and somebody said they run like a 60 footer in Connecticut and it's not bad. I'm like, okay, but. A 60 footer, look? what? Oh, Mark do uh, donated two bucks. You guys are great. Watch you often. I appreciate that, Mark. Did you thank him? I didn't see that. Oh, uh, see, Mark, you can't trust these people. It's not showing me super chats. It's not showing me. Oh, because you're looking at it as Lita, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Mark. That took so long. I was uh, I was not here. Let's go, Lita. Let's go. What happened to uh, Lulu the pit bull? Who's Lulu? I don't know who that is. Uh, did you tell him you know how to speak Spanish? Somebody asked if you know how to speak Spanish from the Philippines. Yeah, I already explained that. Oh, that you speak Portuguese mostly? Yeah. You work your ass off. I know it's a rough industry, but you guys should be proud of your hard work. It's uh, it's even harder right now. God, it's so bad right now. They can't see you. You keep getting out of the picture. Well, I was, so, I was sitting over there. Well, you want to sit here? Is, I'll no, sit over there. It's fine. This head's falling over. Wish this thing, this magnet would just stick. All right. Uh, either that or he will come back with eight ducks. Yeah, I, I didn't win any ducks. That was terrible, no ducks. man. <laughs> uh, they will tell you your secret. It's safe, baby. Oh, I Which, don't. <laughs> they're just, they're just saying shit, dude. Robert, did you, I got skunked, man. It was bad. I should have brought you guys in there so you could see how bad it was. It was a, it's one of those rigged machines. You must have reached up in there and pulled that duck out of there. Nah. Nope. And then I was like, oh, I'll just go buy a little teddy bear or something for her to I shred. $23 <laughs> for a little bear in there. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. That's funny. Yeah, that's how the claw machine people make money. I know, I was like, I had my money and I was like shuffling over there real fast somebody got some cash out of the machine and I seen them like following me and they had a couple of dollar bills with them I'm like they're going to that machine so I like stepped off to the side and sure enough they went to the machine I'm like oh you guys are doing the machine too but they didn't speak English so they had, they had no idea they just kept pointing at the machine and I'm like no go ahead and like they were pointing I'm like no go ahead did they get anything no they, they wasted wow. their money as well <sighs> yeah I sent that money through PayPal earlier, Robert. You sent some money through PayPal? Uh, let's see. Lita, we want more of you on this channel. Exactly. They want you on the channel. I'm just... What keeps our relationship strong? I don't know. I don't know. What is it? I don't know if you like have something right there or what. Do you want to <laughs> lick your finger and do that to my face? That works. You just did it. I don't. I don't know. Like we just 
we work good together when it's like not stupid. Yeah, when there ain't when, stupid stuff happening. Yeah, when it. I, I think it's because we both pull on the same rope. We both have the same goals in life. Um, we both like money. We both like cars. <laughs> I like brunettes. She likes blondes. No. <laughs> so we have our differences there. Mm -hmm. You have brown hair. Or red hair. Red brown hair. <laughs> it is kind of dark right now. Yeah. Have you... Have the illegals undercut a lot of the drivers? Yes. So a lot of those illegals, uh, they don't own a home. They don't own a car. They live in their truck. So they can, they can run for a lot cheaper, you know? I seen a claw machine where you are the claw. They, they stamp you into it. Oh, they strap you into a harness and you grab what you can. That would be cool. Uh, ratchet straps and diesel fuel is all a good relationship needs. And duct tape sometimes. <laughs> And we spent $14 on JB Weld here at the uh, truck stop. Yeah. I look like a ginger. I am a ginger. I am a ginger. Somebody asked uh, if you replaced the fuel cap. Yeah, yeah, we bought a new fuel cap. I think they somebody asked that or like a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, we bought a new fuel cap. Uh, the old fuel cap never had the chain, so I would just set it on the, um, the uh, catwalk. And I'm bad about like... After I hang up the last fuel pump, I just kind of like walk away. I've done it before. I know. I, the Mac had the chains. The yeah, Mac it was the missing chain. the chain and I was like, I need to put a chain and a T-bar on there and I just never did. I just never did. In five more years, we'll have a uh, silver beard. I know, I'm getting kind of gray already. A little gray, huh? Yeah. You got a couple, well, she gets a couple gray hairs, too. I mean, this is but it's dyed. dyed gray because I have gray, so I just went ahead. But you have, like, some actual gray hairs. Yeah. You just bought JB Weldon at six ninety nine. I know, man, these, these truck stops rob these truck drivers. Like, it's absolutely, it was $18. We had to pay $18 for, for this parking, spot. for this parking spot. Because this place is full. And then it's $18 for a shower. Yeah, you can get fuel and get a free shower, but what if you don't shop? Like, we don't we don't fuel up at Pilot anymore. So now it's like we have to pay $18, which is absolutely nuts. And somebody right. mentioned in a video, a video a while back that they do that to keep, like, the homeless people. Like, I don't expect a free shower, but if the mom and pop place or the... Uh, Circle K or the quick trip across the street can give us a shower for seven dollars. Why is it the largest trucking truck stop like TA Pilot Flying J? Why are they charging eighteen twenty dollars for a, a dirty shower that they yeah. never they never clean? That's my problem with it. They're dirty. It's a disgusting shower, They're and then dirty. you spend all that money, and then it's like a cold shower. Yeah. Or the water pressure sucks. I don't know. Red and green show. Red and green show. He duct taped everything. Um, now I'm 49 and silver as hell. Mine changed when I was 45. I mean, I'm lucky to have my hair. Like I have, I still have a lot of hair. Like my brother was bald at my age. How's the sound system in the Kenworth? It doesn't really have a sound system. I mean. They get, okay, it came with like, it came with um, serious radio, but they cut it off, so. Like, those are kicker speakers in the back, but. One of them's blown. I think, it's either blown or one of the wires is loose. I keep meaning to pull one of those speakers out and look at them. Because it like vibrates. It's nothing special. We don't ever listen to it, to be honest. Yeah. Honestly, I have my headset on and I'm listening to podcasts going down the road. We gotta say duck for the people. I paid 17 for a shower. Isn't that crazy? They have to make profits for the CEO. Robert, how's the sound system in Knoxville? That's why I stopped going East Coast. It's too expensive plus toll bridges. Yeah, we don't we try not to mess with the 
with that east that part of the east coast have i ever heard of the red green show i don't know i don't think so i don't know what that is uh good night cj can't stay awake any longer i know i think we're about to we're about to cut it short here we're cut it what's up with the truck stops that won't allow couples to take a shower together seems like they have a a lizard problem we haven't ran into that where that where they won't let us take a shower together but we have ran into places where like if it's eight dollars for a shower they charge us for two showers that's only happened like once once or twice yeah was that um a little frustrating jumping jacks place or whatever. oh no it was we had that one and then we had another one too i forgot about that jumping jacks crap hole Parking is a pain. Parking is a pain. Make money. Hey, brother, thanks for the info on the fuse on the APU. I had the same thing. You say, oh, good. Yeah, yeah. So your air conditioner stopped working. There's a fuse in, the, in that fuse panel. Employee wages at Pilot. I mean, Circle K and Quick, Quick Trip and everybody else have employee wages. Like, when you go to Quick Trip and you see them cleaning the bathrooms, they actually go in there with, like, a, a, a steam machine, and they steam clean everything. It's and like Quick Trip with a, a K, with a K. Not They a do a legit job on cleaning them. They don't just go in there and use a dirty towel and, like, wipe things down and make it look dry. We've been to multiple and watching them clean the bathrooms. They actually go in there with, like, this big steam like machine and steam the, steam the whole thing. Those are really good truck stops yeah i really like the quick trips those are nice to like to stop at give landstar a call and see if they fit my lane is is would you get something from that cajun man if i uh said you referred me how would that work i was gonna put my leg up on this leg but i'm not flexible <laughs> uh duck drinking game what i miss uh, Brittany and I are playing a drinking game where you two say duck and we drink. <laughs> duck, 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 duck. <laughs> I mean, quick trips with a Q are good, too. Yeah, quick trips with a Q They're are just, decent. They just don't usually have as big of a parking like lot. Like, you can, that, and, like, you can buy straight up, like, groceries at a quick trip with a K. Like, if you're low on groceries, like, you can buy bacon, you can buy, like, their, like, already prepped Dinners, yeah, I mean, they have like, decent food. Like, you can yeah, legit grocery their shop. Their donuts are good. Lone Star, do you pull a flatbed or a step deck? What do you pull? I mean, the quick trips are nice. Yeah. Been with Landstar for 25 years. Never have to worry about missing paycheck. He said that uh, you only get like 73% of the Landstar pay. Um, I don't know if I if I missed your comment either, Cajun. Um, so if you see a load posted for let's say three dollars a mile, you only get seventy three percent of what they have posted, or does that already have their percentage taken off? Lita should do some cooking videos. She does some every once yeah. in a while. A lot of the stuff, I mean, we we get stuff that we like, so she just keeps cooking it. So it would be boring to just show the same thing over and over. I pulled both, but I'm pulling Van now. Really? I heard Van was doing terrible. Quick trip cinnamon rolls are to die for. Okay, so those quick trip cinnamon rolls, you guys are going to see. We went ahead and bought some of those. And the amount of icing that they put on those things is like... Ooh. I just want to puke thinking about it. Diabetes. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Uh, fenders are holding up great. I do have uh, some of the nuts coming loose on on the back part, the back braces that hold the back. Um, that's wiggling a little bit, and I can't quite get a. I don't have. I didn't bring the socket or the wrench with me. Actually, I might have the wrench. I might because we bought those wrenches. I was trying to tighten it up with a crescent wrench and and could barely get in there. But I'll have to try it with that. Remember that pouch of wrenches I bought oh, yeah. when we were at the Walmart? Landstar is known for taking 35%. 
Yeah, but I mean the fenders are holding up good. I'm not walking on them like I thought I would. I'm trying not to walk on them. But if I have to I'm walk on them. I'm not walking on them. I figure we shouldn't walk on them. I mean, we got a catwalk. We never, like, I mean, I don't know. I've just gotten used to, like, not stepping on, like. We don't have the sir on with us either. Yeah. I've been leaving that at home for Nate to ride, but now he has a scooter, so he can ride this scooter. And we could start taking that sir on with us again. Yeah. I mean, we will want it in the summer. It's it's easy to not have that when it's, like, snowing and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, we wouldn't be able to go anywhere with that anyways. Oh, Lone Star has a channel. Lone Star. I post revenue videos on my channel. Here, I'll go ahead and go... Uh, subscribe to you. I need to subscribe to everybody. I'm going to subscribe to uh, uh, Robert. He's got some Mustang videos. Damn, there's another person's video. I'll sub to uh, Danny. I'll sub to you too, man, but I have no idea about sports, bro. Not a clue. Lita knows more about football than I do. I'm dumb when it comes to that. 73% uh, of the line haul, 100% of the fuel surcharge. See, I'm not used to seeing fuel sur surcharges, so I'm not sure about that. Ever thought of uh, interviewing other truckers like uh, truck podcasts? <sighs> no, I haven't really thought of it. I know um, a couple of people tried to do that. I think uh, Asian Maya does that sometimes. I think uh, Hotshot Dave was trying to do that there toward the end. Uh, subscribe to you too? Do you have a channel too? I've heard of that, like, yeah, wow, that WoW cookbook. Damn, you have 20 videos, bro. Oh, you play uh, GTA and stuff. Oh, online gaming. I will watch gaming stuff. Resident Evil... You know who's funny that we used to watch? Who was that funny guy? Daniel uh, L SL. Daniel from SL? Yeah. Was that his name? Daniel yeah. from SL? He put a video out recently. So Man, he that. used to do, like, he would troll people on that... Um, on Second Life. On that game Second Life, where people have a second life in the game. And they're, like, paying real money for, like, real estate. God dang, that stuff was funny, man. Yeah, I Daniel from this. SL. I haven't watched is uh before. man he's got some good videos he's funny and do rc and model cars man i need to get my rc cars going uh with landstar you don't have to worry about if you get paid or not landstar is the bookkeeper yeah showers are considered a uh, business expense tax deductible yes did you ever put the rubber between the fender so that i went back and looked at that rubber that rubber was for um laying on your tire. It wasn't for to put between the fenders. Oh, you have a channel too, Mac? Or a Buck? I don't know why I said Mac. Oh, 37 videos too. Yeah, if you guys have a channel, let me know, man. I'll, su I'll at least sub to it. Can't promise you I'll watch anything, but especially if it's sports. Gentry and Sons and FSC shouted me out on their channel today. I don't really watch uh, a lot of their stuff either, if you want. I, I watch I watch a lot of political stuff and a lot of, most mostly gaming stuff. Rust videos, I, I'm into this game Rust. I don't get to really watch it very much, but I watch Rust videos. I tell you what, I can tell you who I watch. Um, I watch like uh, Scotty Kramer. Let me see playlists videos how do i see my subscriptions history. yeah um cletus mcfarland uh there's a guy named joe is hungry that i watch he eats food and does reviews side by side blog c boys tv jh devils diesel finnegan's i like watching finnegan's garage a lot of comedians, like I follow Burt Kreischer, he's funny. 
truck and travel matt jones he rides bikes uh beard meets food that's a good channel to watch Oh, who's that new guy that I've been starting to watch? That's an asshole, but I still watch him. Oh, Danny Duncan. Danny Duncan. I found I found Danny Duncan right re recently. He's kind of an asshole, but uh, a lot of his stuff's pretty funny. Oh, I follow Mike Rowe. You know from Dirty Jobs. Um, there's some camera channels I follow. What's that camera guy's camera channel? Conspiracy. Camera conspiracies. He's pretty damn funny. Yeah, he's a weirdo, but yeah, it's he's fun. a weirdo, but he's got some funny stuff. Uh, let's see, who else do I watch? I found a new, a new uh, rapper, uh, James Wayne. Bro, one of his new videos is fire, man. I can act, I could play music on here if I want because I'm, this isn't going to be monetized. Uh, but he's got a couple of good songs. I just found him. Who else do I follow? Steven Crowder, Mr. Beast, obviously Joe Rogan. I don't really watch any trucking stuff, to be completely honest. I do follow some trucking stuff some truckers but just seems boring to me man I follow a lot more people than I thought um I don't big see big rig becca big rig becca they're asking you to follow I've seen a couple of her videos um I don't think I follow her though Legit street cars. What's legit street cars? Oh, I follow uh, Chief from Street Outlaws. Um, watch legit. Le watch legit street cars. Oh, you found me from Joe is hungry. That's funny. Yeah, that is funny because it's two completely different types of channels. Used to pull dry van for RBI hauling for Lowe's. Look, Mackie took a dump and she's fine now. I know, Joe, isn't that crazy? Look, she's passed out. Well, like, I walked her the you first time. You had just time. taken her out, yes, though. Yes, but she didn't have to. She's, she's a jerk. You're Your a new shit. channel? Uh, here, I'll, I'll sub to you guys. Uh, go to channel. Subscribe. I mean, some of, the, uh, some of the edits and some stuff that people do on their channels, I'm like, I do not deserve... The subscribers that I have, these other people that actually put time into their channel deserves it. Rust is so toxic. Rust is toxic, man. But, like, I watch uh, Blueprint and uh, Coco and a couple other people on Rust. It's such a fun game, though. But it's a game that will make you smash your keyboard. Am I getting rich from YouTube? Um, so, I mean, to be honest with you guys, uh, like right before COVID, we were making probably $4,000 a month on YouTube. Yeah. And now I have to push, like I have to pump out some videos to make $4,000 a month on YouTube. Did that trucker ever get released from Dubai? I don't know. I didn't hear of that. Alex at... At legit streetcars, amazing car content, Mustang GTR 700. Oh, there's a guy that I follow that goes, he lives in Thailand too. He's a good channel. He does a lot of stuff with cars over there in Thailand. Uh, let me see what his, it's like cars and cameras or something like that. Um, like he shows a lot of cool, Thailand has a lot of, a lot of stuff going on over there. What's his channel's name? Like he like he like he does a lot of like food reviews in Thailand. I think it's cars and cameras. I don't know what channel you're talking about. 
Yeah, cars and cameras. Uh, is this him? Cars and cameras? No, that's a go-kart put. The, I, uh, they do go-karts. What's that other one? God dang it. It's a good channel to watch. If you like cars and stuff going on in Thailand, it's... it's can't remember what the name of his channel is. I mean, he's he's big. He's not... He's not a small channel. I consider myself a small channel. I mean, 35,000 might sound a lot to somebody starting out, but honestly, 35,000 isn't a lot. I can't find his channel. I don't know. I can't believe I can't remember his channel name. I don't know which one you're talking about. And cars. CB Media is is, is the name. <laughs> CB Media. <laughs> That's not even close to. Yeah, it wasn't. It was, you're right. It wasn't close. But CB Media, he's got some good content. Shows a lot of the. Uh, car shows and stuff in Thailand so you get to see some of the cute Thailand chicks Thailand's like super huge on like these racing boats and they've got they've got some money over there but he's got some good videos yeah CB media yeah the long tail boat racing man they've got some ridiculous motors on those boats uh, insurance was his issue was whose issue Robert Tell I started points. watching you stuff I mean it was one of his issues started watching your stuff for a little while now was hooked the first time I saw you and Lita your stuff is just so real I don't sugarcoat anything a lot of folks doctor their stuff yeah I just don't see why a lot of these people feel they have to uh, lie about stuff do you think YouTube will stop paying for content I think they're they won't stop paying for content I think they're just slowly cutting more and more of the cheese off the block huh I don't know uh, there's always like bad months for YouTube. Usually, like I the think winners. YouTube chews you cho gets definitely has their favorite, like who they push out. Oh well, yeah. They definitely don't like you speaking your mind on like the whole masks and the whole vaccine thing. Like I have strikes on my channel from that. I have videos that got deleted from that. And now look, we were right about everything. Yeah. Thailand chicks well not the girly boys or the boy boy girls girl boys but there's legit girls I think I don't know you don't know that who you knows you have no idea what if some of the girls that are like standing in front of those fast cars or whatever are aren't actually girls and them are some good looking dudes yeah <laughs> Oh, yeah, the Mike Tyson fight is going to be... <sighs> if Mike Tyson loses, man... He's old, though. It doesn't matter, man. That dude still hits like a truck. That's crazy. Like, I, all Jake Paul is doing is fighting all these It doesn't. People. No. I mean, I, I got to give him props for, for fighting Mike Tyson. I heard there's a bunch of rules in on it, though, where, like, Jake can wear headgear and... I don't know how true it is. Mike Tyson kills him and his somebody, brother can tag so. team in and out, and I don't know. I don't know how true any of that is, but like, I gotta give Jake props though to like for fighting Mike Tyson. Yeah. Oh, I heard Mike Tyson has to cut a bunch of weight. I don't know how true that is, but like, I wouldn't want to get hit by Mike Tyson. I don't care if he's ninety years old. I don't know. Probably a ninety-year-old Mike Tyson wouldn't hit that hard. I hope Mike does rip them apart, to be completely honest. Um, I think Jake's in, in good shape. And I think he can, like, throw some jabs here and there. But I wouldn't... I wouldn't say he's Mike Tyson quality. No. No. Uh, Clifford's in the Philippines. Yes, Victor Outdoor Service is awesome. Never heard of them. I make about 1500 a month from YouTube. 
I mean, that's good. I mean, I'm happy with the money that I make on YouTube, but it just seems like it takes a lot more. It seems like it takes a lot more to make the money that we were making pre-COVID. I know everybody was like home watching YouTube. Well, I, I wouldn't say our views went up during COVID. Yeah. It was the whole YouTube came out and said that uh, because of the pandemic, like a lot of people who were advertising on YouTube were pulling back advertisement money so that they were going to start paying less. Yeah. And then YouTube also came out and said, if you don't put commercials in your videos, we're going to put commercials in your videos. Yeah, so. Best ever review is a fun uh, channel to watch. Better get you some Bitcoin before uh, the having Robert. Oh, what's that say? I can't see. Look how messed up that screen is. What do you think that says? Where? Right there. I have some. Oh. Might just have to get out of the. Oh, truck you think it too. says might? I don't know. I can't see the screen so messed up. Yeah, Joe follows me. Joe is hungry. I used to think Joe Rogan was a douche, but then listen to him some... Joe Rogan's actually a pretty smart dude. Like, he knows a lot about a lot of stuff. I think he's fantastic, man. He calls people out on their bullshit, too. Yep, I follow Chief from Street Outlaws. I enjoy J.C. Smith. I don't know who that is. Bone Star's a daily vlogger. Um, you have a channel, but you don't post much? Let me see. Oh, I've been subscribed to you, though. You do a lot of shorts, Never Look Back, right? I don't usually watch shorts. Oh, those were fake rules? I wasn't sure, Ron. Um, I agree. Mike Tyson got screwed over by so many people in his career. Hard not to feel bad for the guy. And his uh, his kid got killed. I can't remember how his daughter was, was killed, but... It was like a car accident. That's what I thought, too. Like, something. And that, man, it he was a completely different guy after that. Uh, we don't have a Patreon, Dreaming. Uh, I remember my best friend coming out of a room saying, it's a boy. We never went back to, <laughs> to Thailand. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Learn how to use AI tools. YouTube is based, uh, revenue is based off of views, likes, comments, etc. Yeah, it's the amount of uh, time they've watched, the amount of time that they watch, watch commercials. Yeah. yeah. How long will I continue trucking uh, until I can get out? The YouTube commercials are stupid. They want you to buy into, I mean, YouTube premium is honestly worth it. YouTube premium is like, what, five, six dollars a month. It's ad free, plus it gives you access to, I use YouTube music, which is fantastic. You can download all the YouTube music, so if you're in a dead spot, you can listen to music. I've got a favorites list set up that's, I'm getting dialed in. Like, my playlist is getting dialed. It might go from country to, like, rap, but it's dialed. Yeah. Uh, Mike Tyson's daughter died by getting caught in a, oh, an electrical cord. That's right, on a um, treadmill. You're absolutely right. Um, yeah, and even Mike came out and he's like, how does a kid strangle herself on a electrical cord on a, uh, the treadmill. treadmill? I don't know. Bro, that, that tore him up. Oh, never look back. Uh, $1.99, we love the channel. Hope we all can link up OTR. Yeah, I appreciate that. She tripped on a treadmill and snapped her neck and hung her. That's yeah. That's crazy. What a freak accident. Yeah. Uh, if you listen to, um, I can't remember whose podcast he was on where he talked about how he just wanted to drive into the hospital and just start murdering people. Yeah, I believe it. I mean, he's, he's always been kind of crazy. Definitely watch Hummer Bagel. Hummer Bagel. Hummer bagel. Look, I guess I can look that up. I gotta look that up. Hummer bagel? Is that a channel? I hope so. 
Wait. How you? I've seen that guy. No, that's not that guy. That's not the guy that plays the guitar. No, that's the guy. That guy's been on TikTok. You've you've shown me TikToks of that guy, for sure. Oh yeah. Yeah, dude. Oh, the whole farting thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah dude. Yes. Is yeah, that the same guy? It looks like him. Like those look like. I've the seen same. that one before, but that's a gill strap TV. Those, Hummer bagel. Those look like. Like the same, bro. The the farting stuff. God, I will laugh until I pass out with the with the farting jokes. How they keep a straight face and just walk next to a bunch of pretty girls and act like they're farting, bro. It just kills me, man. I used to watch a uh, channel called Angry Picnic too. It's of this dude that can play guitar, and he would just like walk around to campuses and just like start playing guitar for the, like these cute college girls and you know he got so much action it was crazy youtube premium is 14.99 so wow that's crazy i pay for the family plan so i have lita and my kids and my mom and my dad on my youtube premium plan it's the whole family it's like 20 25 bucks your name is robert too rob rob tyla you can have music playlist on YouTube without premium. Um, <laughs> through the YouTube music um, app. I saw our air freshener go off. <laughs> oh, the air freshener? Where? Where do you see that at? Do you have one of those auto air fresheners? Tank's garage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do. It's one of those auto air fresheners. It'll blast you in the face when you're standing up. Yeah, it's, cooking. it's, it got me in the eye today. How old are you, Robert and Lita? Uh, I think I'm 42. I was born in 82, so I think I'm 42. Yeah. And Lita is 78 years old. Can you believe how old she is? 78 years old. Mm-hmm. When I first brought her home, all my friends gave me a hard time thinking like I was robbing the cradle. But you were born in 80, right? Yeah. She was born in 1980, I was born in 19, so she's actually older than me. Yeah. So she would be considered a cougar. <laughs> uh, we're young making you feel old? How many, ener I only drink one energy drink a day. It's 12 o'clock, though. We should be good. Looks damn good for 78. I know, right? She looks amazing for 78. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be playing your game right now. I know. I'm wasting plunder storm time. Mackie's letting them rip back here. They're also, that's why the air or the air mm -hmm. pressure's going off. Can you guys see them? Look at them. Passed out. Yeah, I'll just swap it around. Do you want me to hold that? Yeah, you want to hold that? You guys are so sleepy. Oh, I can't zoom out or anything with this thing. Um, I've been playing, like, Plunderstorm. Yeah, she's been playing uh, Plunderstorm. It's the Battle Royale that WoW came out with. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. I I've been having fun. a blast with it. I'm not very good at it, but it's fun. It's a lot of fun. I think it's uh, fun. Best way to get your CDL is probably, um, if you have the money, go to a private place. If you don't have the money, find a company that will train you. But I would, um, I'd probably, man, I, I would say not get, get into trucking. If anything, do do local or like dump truck work or something, man. Because over the road sucks. Yeah. This sucks. I mean, the only I, thing good about this is I get to spend every waking minute with Lita and my dogs. Yeah. If it wasn't for that, I would drive off a bridge. I would rather be at the house. The bathroom situation sucks. Appreciate you stopping by, Connor. Yeah, we're about to head out too. Well, uh, looking forward to seeing your next vid. Stay safe. I think my next video is me going and looking at the, the old dream truck, huh? Is it? I think so. 
You'll be 62 in October 12th, two more years, and you're done trucking. Ooh, this thing, look at this. This is trying to move this thing around. What the? I, I was know. just trying to scroll. I didn't know you could even do that. You stopped playing WoW so many years ago? It's gotten good again, Chad. It's, um, I stopped playing back in Cata. At least. Skip through Pandaria and Warlords of Draenor. And Shadow. Oh, you, paid, you played Shadow. I played bits and pieces throughout Shadow. each of those, but I came back pretty hardcore this expansion. Legion, too. We played some Legion, too. Legion? Yeah. We missed. I'd say it's fun. We missed battle. Your local twelve hundred bucks a week? Yeah, you can't beat that, Scott. Twelve hundred bucks a week. And you home? I know. I looked, um, Ron. I looked at the last time I did a live, and it was when we broke down in the Mac. Oh yeah. Yeah. Can you believe that? It's been that long. That's crazy. At least that's what YouTube says. Yeah. Six months ago. Crazy. Look, there you are on the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. So, so did I. I thought I did one, one since then. Yeah, I don't know. Because the air conditioner we gave away was eight months ago. Oh, we did try to do... That's not showing that one, though, is it? Maybe you deleted it. 11 months. Oh, I might have deleted it because I was pissed off because our internet was trash. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, man. Anti Truckers are antisocial. Like, <clears throat> I mean, at least back then, like, truck drivers would go in and sit in diners and stuff, and you, you guys could actually talk to each other. Man, nobody talks on the CB unless they're saying that they're not wearing panties. Like, <clears throat> I don't want to sound. <laughs> I don't want to sound racist or anything, but these foreign drivers have completely screwed this industry up. You can't talk to them. They are rude. They can't drive. Yeah, I mean, lots of people can't drive. But you, I can. I know for a fact. Of who's driving a truck before you can see who's driving that truck. Yeah. That guy that won the AC said the AC is working good, by the way. Uh, we use it in our sailboat when we stay on the boat. Nice. So it actually does work good. Like when I did my tests with the Mac, like when I did the, I, I would cover that with the cover. It would actually keep that room, but it wouldn't keep this whole truck cool. Yeah. I mean, the friggin house ACs that we had in there wouldn't keep that truck yeah the away. house AC and that Mac the, stayed hot yeah I mean we haven't been in the summer in this one so we don't know this AC works pretty good I mean the split AC worked really good in the Mac too yeah yeah you heard uh, YouTube is moving to memberships I mean, YouTube keeps trying to get me to, uh, like, push uh, push memberships. They want me to push shorts. I don't know. I'm terrible with social media. I mean, membership is just, like, it's just YouTube's, like, Patreon. It's basically the same thing. So one life per month agreed? <laughs> I mean, I'll try. I enjoy doing it. I'm like a train when I start up. It's hard for me to stop these. That's why I have like 18 hour lives. Mm -hmm. You kept on crashing last live? That's right. I did keep yeah. on crashing. That was, uh, I think I deleted that. I was pissed off. That was on the Starlink. We had Starlink. Was that only Starlink? I think so. I thought we had both of them and I was mad that... Oh, I, because I couldn't even use my Verizon. Yeah. Yeah. And they're usually driving automatics. Well, yeah, they all drive automatics. I know every time I get in this automatic, I feel like I need to put flip-flops on. I mean, sometimes you wear your shoes. 
That's almost a flip flop. Yeah, I wear these I slip on <laughs> shoes sometimes. But if we're loading or unloading, I'm wearing my boots. Got nothing else. Well, I'm usually editing. Like right now, I, I would be either editing or playing a game or watching TV or sleeping. Watching YouTube. Or eating. Yeah. Send you an email? I know. Well, what I what I want to do is like let everybody know ahead of time that we're going to do a live, but I was afraid we would get here. Like I thought about sending out a message that we we're going to do a live tonight, but then I was afraid we would get here and our internet would be trash. Yeah, we won't know. That's the thing. Like we won't know. Like there's no way to test if the internet's going to be good where we're stopping at. I still do reach for the uh, shifter and the clutch when I when I slow down sometimes. I've gotten better with it though. Yeah. Not reaching for it. Yeah. The only thing the automatic is good for is like emergency stops or slowing down fast. Yeah. Because it doesn't miss a downshift. Like you hit that Jake brake and you start hitting that brake and it doesn't miss a downshift and but sometimes when we're accelerating, I don't know, the transmission just does stupid. Well, the Mac did stupid stuff too. So it's still server based, but you can do like you do cross you can do cross uh, server cross faction stuff now. What? Somebody asked about WoW. Oh yeah, WoW. You can play with Alliance now, and yeah. you can play ser cross yeah, so server cross faction. It's so much easier to find groups for dungeons and stuff now on yeah. WoW because it's cross faction, cross server. Like if you get in like a looking for group, like you might be running with all alliance from a different server most most of the pugs are alliance i seen something about that chad i wasn't sure if it was true or not so i didn't want to talk on it yeah how joe biden named an easter transgender day he's just trying to get people mad he's, he's just trying, trying to, get... to he's just trying to get votes from that's make that's gonna make a lot of people mad. That's gonna make a lot of people mad. So he's just separating people even more. Uh, Station Turner Air Force Base in Albany, huh? Can't tell you how many times I've screenshot clips of your videos when you say something real funny and send it to people that have no idea who you are. <laughs> what the? Yeah, that would be weird. <laughs> oh my god. Last one I clipped was you explaining the guy using his hand as a plunger to clean the toilet. Oh, dude, that was... Yeah, I forgot about that toilet story. And he was a truck driver. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. He spoke English. Yeah, he he spoke English. He was American. See? His... Bro, what all, in the world? All kinds. Yeah, dude, I'm not <laughs> reaching in a toilet. Oh, no. And I, if I did, which I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell people... I mean, it would have to be like my phone fell in there or something. That would be like... Bro, I don't know. Time. I might flush that phone down the toilet. Nah. Have you ever hauled to military bases? I'm on Eastern uh, North Couple and see a lot of hotshot drivers that are working. Yeah, we used to do uh, military bases all the time. They used to pay good. They no longer pay good. Therefore, I'm not going to sit in line uh, at a military base and let them do whatever they do it takes a long time to get on bases especially when you have another driver two dogs and you carry because then you have to check your gun people are like oh i just hide my gun my luck they would find it and then they would be like you're in trouble now yeah We need the bird shitting on the wall. Video come back. Oh, yeah. I can't remember what I used to do with that. I don't know. You remember that? Yeah, but I don't remember why. I don't remember why I used to use that. You watch my videos on 1.75 speed? That's weird. I guess I need to try that.
Are your friends love me raging? Man. If a camera crew would just follow me around, you guys would think completely different of me. Especially about these idiots on the road. And what's up with all the roundabouts now? <laughs> Bro, like, it seems like America just learned about roundabouts, and they're putting roundabouts everywhere now. On all these exits, like, especially in Georgia now, on all these exits where the uh, truck there, um, stops were, are now. They were all over Min uh, Minis Minnesota, too. Yeah, but they're even worse now in Georgia. Yeah. It's like Georgia found out they, about them. They make the concrete thing so big that your trailer has to drive on the roundabout, on the on the concrete part in the middle. It's crazy. Like, I'm okay with a roundabout, but... They just made them wrong They made here. them so small that my axles are always up on the middle part. What's up, Artie? Hello from uh, Artie in Calgary. Calgary? Calgary. Someone said they sure do appreciate you uh, being on camera. Yeah. Are you falling asleep on me? No, I'm all right. We call them rotaries in Massachusetts. Yeah, that's yeah, what that's I what call Lita them. Yeah, that's what Lita used to say was rotary. I call them rotaries. And she almost got thrown out of the truck. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm t I didn't make it rotary. up. Rotary. It's a, it's that's like a, a goofy northeast ass thing. Name, dude. No, it's not. It's, rotary. They're called, they call, you call them rotary roundabout. Roundabout sounds goofy. No, it doesn't. That's it's, what it's called is a roundabout. I don't know. A rotary. Yeah. I, yeah, but like they're, I, they're sticking them, them everywhere now. I call them rotaries. We went through so many roundabouts today. Yeah. Just to get fuel, I think we had three on one exit. They're going to put them all on our exits in Georgia. Like, our exits. <laughs> and I don't know who they have doing the concrete on these highways now. It'll be freshly laid concrete that we're going over. Fresh, brand new concrete. And I swear, somebody laid that concrete with their feet. I don't know. I think Because it is the worst, roughest... Like, you guys couldn't line up those slabs at all? I think they just cut out, like, good sections of the road and, like, patch it. So they have for practice, work. For, it's just so bro. They have it's work. so bad now. Now it's like go 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 go. Yes, and if you're in the rotary, you have the right of way. If you're Canadian, it's pronounced roundabout. Yeah, I if I first knew about them in England when I was young, and they were called roundabouts. It even says roundabout on the sign. I mean, that's England, though. I don't live in England. The cheapest bid wins? Yeah, and then it's usually somebody that somebody knew that got in. Bro, they're such a mess, man. Especially in a semi-truck. Especially in a, with our trailer. The way our, our trailer doesn't turn. They're called rotaries in Rhode Island also. They've been called that for 40 years. All right, so let's 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 get this straight then. So somebody said Massachusetts. Yeah. And now somebody's saying Rhode Island. Yeah. And you were from Connecticut. Yeah. Who gives a shit about them places? I don't know. Cut those turds off with New York and sink the, let those turds <laughs> flow down to the ocean because Connecticut is a pain in the ass to bring a, a truck to. Yeah. I mean, I was telling them that. Yeah, our trailer spent more time on the sidewalk than it did on the street. In Bridgeport. It was a nightmare. That's why I don't want to go back. And Chicago, we can shovel Chicago out of there. Cut California off. We'll take California. We'll let New Mexico go with California. What else we got up there? Everything west of Idaho? I guess. Seattle? All that crap. <laughs> float that turd out in the ocean that way hmm? Oregon it is really pretty up there though Oregon California's gorgeous there's some really nice places out there yeah California is nice it's really dry out there though there is some beautiful there are some beautiful places out there it's a shame it's a shame what they're doing want everything to be electric have obviously never seen a mine that they that it takes to get the batteries. I mean that. And then they can't charge. They're like, don't turn on your air con your air conditioners from this time. Don't charge your cars. 
but we're going to be all electric. Look, I get it. Electric's going to be like the future one day, but you can't force it, man. We don't have the infrastructure for that you, right you now. You can't force it. You can't be like, we're going to be all electric by this date. No, technology will tell us when we're ready to be all electric. Um, I mean, K.O. said there are some some of us are good people in california my mom's from there like i know still, i feel bad for the we for the still people have family that are Orange there county so her mom went to um what was that school or where, where she what was that area she went to school in uh well she, compton right yeah she used to live in Compton. yeah her mom used to live in compton how crazy is that mm -hmm. that's wild yeah. That's stuff you hear about on rap songs. I bet your mom's in a rap song no, somewhere. No, but Compton wasn't like that. Did she know Snoop Dogg? No. Compton wasn't wasn't like all like crazy. Yeah, in LA. Like Compton. Like the streets of Compton. Like. <laughs> oh, let's see. Someone said, wow, you carry a gun? I carry a gun. 30 years. Well, I just missed it. I was just reading it and now it's gone. Something about... You carry a gun, wow, 30 years, never thought I needed a gun? That's crazy, bro. You don't need a gun until you need a gun, and if you don't have a gun, you wish you needed, you wish you had a gun. Uh, hate roundabouts. People thought you were on coke because you were talking so fast. Oh, on 1.75? I mean, I'll be honest with you, the only drugs I've ever done I've, the only thing I've ever done was smoke pot. I've never tried coke. I've never done. I've never done anything. I've never even tried a mushroom. Yeah. Joe's hungry. He's in the chat. Yeah, I'm getting down to him. I seen him pop up on the screen here. Um. I don't know how Walmart drivers fit through the Walmart parking lot just to get to the dock. I mean, we've been to some tight Walmarts before, but we could definitely get through it. Uh, hi to both of you. Happy Easter. Thanks, Mike. Minnesota is not only known for a uh, knee, they're also known for their roundabouts. Roundabouts equal, let's see how we can fuck. Yeah, ain't that true? Roundaboot. Yeah, I say that a lot. New England states. Texas has a uh, roundabout when you get off the freeway we have rotaries in kentucky now and they 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 called on rotaries they're called rotaries see all they call them rotaries in california shovel that turd out in the ocean with the connecticut too mm -hmm. we got roundabouts in australia see even australia down under knows that it's called a roundabout got those bro i-80 west of chicago is dude all the roads are horrendous they are even here in Georgia on, what was that road we came over on? 20... It was 20. 20 or 28. Like right before a scale. I'm like, they, they must have laid this blindfolded with their feet. Right before... Yeah, 20. 20 east. Right before the Please scale. Please drive to highlighted route. It was the roughest road we've ridden on in a long time. Right before a scale. Did you power this off? Is that why it was off? No. I didn't do anything. I retire I plan to retire to San Diego, not anymore. Yeah, bro, you can't. Calgary removed all concrete highway and made them asphalt much, much smoother. I mean that might be the way to go too, because I think everybody thought concrete was gonna last longer. What are you doing with that? Is that Putting it out right? of my way. Yeah. Oh. Joe is hungry in the channel. My man quit his job and he is YouTube in full time now. I am jealous. See, I, trucking is our channel, so we have to truck to keep doing content. Yeah. Unless we start doing something different. But what could we do? I don't know. Just drive around yelling at people? I guess. I mean, I guess that's what people like watching. <laughs> Grew up in Redding, California. left 10 years ago because it's... A sh uh, short show now. I, I guess he meant shit show. But I miss the mountains sometimes. I used to four by four in them. 
I mean, Cal California is amazing. There are some amazing spots. Don't get me wrong. You'll give uh, us Trudeau? No way, bro. For Donald Trump. Look, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I hate Trump as a person. I can't stand the way he talks about himself or the way he talks and the way he uses his hands. Which is funny because I watched an old video today of him on the Oprah show and Oprah asking him if he'd ever run for president. And it's funny because he still like uses his hands the same way as he does now. That's I'm how like, he Damn, is. he's always done that. Yeah. It's weird. He was like that on the... It's crazy that Trump still does this with his hands, but... Joe Biden doesn't look the same from five years ago. He looks like a completely different person. Probably not the same person. <laughs> what did Trump, what was Trump's show? Like the executive or something like that? Um, the one where he'd be like, you're fired. Yeah. I don't remember. I don't think I ever watched it. Uh, my wife and I bought, uh, wife and I bought, have concealed carry permits. Yeah, man, you have to. Me and Lita both have our concealed permits carry permits on the way to north west uh three five two six miles with nine drops between lincoln nebraska and spoke holy smokes man nine drops that's a lot yeah i'm streaming joe god i need to get caught up i'm sorry i get to like you get to distracted me i live beside a tesla dealer as soon as we have a cold spell there's a line of Tow trucks towing the Teslas all froze up. I saw that on TikTok. Yeah. They all stuck in a lot because they don't have any power. You have to pay a wealth tax. Isn't that crazy? The, the crap that California is... It's because of all these celebrities and all these businesses leaving California. Now that commie over there is like, Oh, you got to give us some money to leave. Yeah. Spongebob got uh, lost in a roundabout. Took him a couple hours to get out, he says. Traffic circles. Called uh, roundabouts in Illinois, too. Oh, it was The Apprentice. Somebody said, liar, we call them roundabouts in California. <laughs> They're roundabouts in Louisiana? Yeah, it's a roundabout, you fucking weirdos. Home Depot parking lots are really tight. Came here in the late 60s. Roundabouts in New Zealand. Yeah, see? These, you guys in your weird states, man. Oh, I have a question for the chat. What do you consider a northern state and a southern state? Yeah, oh yeah. Great question. <laughs> Where is the line that you guys consider it when you say... Yeah, northern or southern? Northern or southern. That's a great question. Because we, we have a difference on northern and the southern states. I'm a trucker in California. I know y'all don't like the speed 55 here. It honestly doesn't bother me. I don't drive fast. I do 60, 65. Yeah. I mean, like... I mean, 55 does suck. Don't get me wrong. But... It doesn't bother me as much as it bothers other people. Yeah. Yeah, 55 isn't a big deal. I'm in New Jersey and we call it roundabout. It's like there's like a cutoff of like where people know how to use their brain. People that don't know how to use their brain. I guess. <laughs> uh, I'm with you on this uh, sponge, Bob. I don't think you need a conceal. You don't need a conceal in Georgia anymore, Joe. You, you used to have to have one. I'm trucking with Landstar picking up tomorrow for a run to Alaska uh, on a Sunday. You're picking up on a Sunday? Because today's Saturday. It's Easter Sunday, well, too. Well, technically it's 1220, so today is the next That's day. That's crazy people open on Easter. How they know you're about to leave? Probably, yeah, how would they know you're about to leave? I would just leave. You call Illinois Illinois? Yeah. I mean, all of Illinois ain't bad either. It's a shame. Uh, their roads are pretty terrible. I don't know. You can tell when you get In into Canada, Illinois. In Canada, it's illegal to do a lot of things, period. Like... You're allowed to have a hunting rifle if you prove it's for hunting, but if somebody breaks in your house, you're not allowed to shoot them. No, thank you. Somebody said south of Virginia. Is that what they're talking about? Um, government is a business. Let the business run it. Yeah, let the businessman run it for sure. Kentucky and south. Mason-Dixon line. 
Is that the line you were talking about? The Mason Dixon. No, line. no. Look, yes. I listen to me. <laughs> There's a reason North Carolina is called North Carolina. It is a southern state. Because that is where the North no, picks up and goes up. Absolutely not. South you... Carolina is where the South begins. No, man. No. He thought, like I said, West Virginia was a southern state. And he was like, what are you talking about? No, the Mason-Dixon line is a line that divides the north and the south of the United States. Are you all, okay back there? Look at all these people saying Mason-Dixon line. Ban them. Ban them for life. I showed him on the map. I was like, there's this line that like is north and south. And like, he was like... Pennsylvania cannot be the first state that Somebody starts Somebody said in the anything north. above I-20 is north. That's what we're on, right? I-20? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Bailey. Anything south of Oklahoma? Um, where is Oklahoma on the line? Yeah, that's probably about right. I guess I'm thinking like East Coast part. I didn't really think about Oh, I don't Over know. There. I don't know. Not like I don't know where it divides in the West, but like the the first, the East Coast states. Okay, see, is south north of it is north, Ohio and Kentucky. So you consider Ohio north and Kentucky south, Wade? Uh, what about the north? What that. about North and South Dakota? I was born in South Dakota. Um. Isn't it a Civil War thing? Uh, I don't know if the Mason-Dixon line was like before or after the Civil War, honestly. That I don't know. I just know... Yeah, the Midwest, I don't understand the whole Midwest thing because they consider the Midwest to be like Kentucky, right? And Indiana, isn't that considered the Midwest? I mean, yeah, like if you're right, if like you're running lanes like that's what they put in the midwest that's, that's silly and then they put like mountain and then they put west no midwest is like utah colorado yeah that's what i think i would agree with maybe that. even is kansas to the east or the west of missouri kansas is to the west missouri is before kansas Yes, because Kansas. Kansas City, Kansas, I would and Kansas, Kansas City, Kansas, Missouri. I would consider Kansas Midwest. I was born in Rapid City. I was. Uh, Robert and Lita, what is West Province and East Province of Canada? I have no idea. I get my syrup at the store. Isn't like, <laughs> isn't like the East, like uh, Prince Edward Island and Newfoundland, and like the West would be like. Uh, and Saskatchewan and Manitoba and stuff like that. Kentucky is considered inbred. Oh, that's funny. Oh, uh, if you guys want to... I was listening to... Um, who's that uh, comedian? Uh, shoot. What's that? Man, I was listening to a podcast today that was pretty dang funny. Um... By Shane Gillis. By Shane Gillis. Um, he does a podcast on like um, like history. And he was talking about... A copy link. He, he, he was talking about the uh, North and South... Um, talking about the Civil War, War? The Civil War today. Or not today. I don't know when, when the video was out. But this video right here I'm going to put in here. This is a good listen to because it's funny as shit. He's like, I bet those drummer boys were getting nailed. <laughs> then he was talking about how um, they were looking around for if Connecticut helped out at all and they couldn't find anything that Connecticut did during the Civil War. He's like, yeah, they were, they were probably nailing the Connecticut guys. Too. <laughs> Pretty funny. Shane Gillis is a funny dude. All right, what did I miss out on? Two of my kids are teachers in New Jersey public schools. The best idea is let teachers carry firearms, train them to use, and let the 
word out about yeah because nobody wants to go into somewhere if they know there's guns that's why it always happens in gun free zones if you go into somewhere to do bad and you don't know who's carrying a gun then I you're the, probably not going to do bad I got the Canada stuff right kind of <laughs> I've only been to Canada once so I don't really know much about it how about everything out of Texas is another country? Uh, is another country? Man. Mo is the Midwest. Yeah, I know they consider Missouri the Midwest, but I consider Missouri just the mid. We'll call that the mid mid. Yeah. Missouri is mid mid. <laughs> like Oklahoma's mid mid. We'll call Kentucky mid mid. Mm, Indiana, Illinois is probably mid mid. We'll call, like, Minnesota. I mean, that would South be... South Dakota, North Dakota, that would be, like, the mid-north. Mid-north? Yeah. <laughs> the mid, the mid-north. Michigan is Midwest. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, in the 1700s, the Midwest was anything west of original 13 colonies. Yeah. You know, whatever. Shane Gillis is hilarious, but that that podcast of him talking about the history is is pretty damn funny. Yeah. I would bookmark that. He's a funny dude, and he's smart. Like he went to he went to school to be a history teacher. I mean, I'll listen to anything about the Civil War to be honest. Oh well, you need to click on that and watch that. Listen to that yeah. later because it's hilarious. He I talks understand. about like in that podcast like what cost the south the civil war like the south was kicking the shit out of the north up until gettysburg um the south was dominating the north uh, and they, the whole reason the south lost is because the south was defending the entire time and working their way up and then when they got to gettysburg the south was like hey we're unstoppable and then the north defended at gettysburg and that's when the whole tides changed North had a lot of shitty generals. Um, the tides like changed. That's another thing he talks about. How one of the how the the southern general that was leading of the way and was winning so much, you know, he actually died from friendly fire. Yeah, he got. He shot. went out on a on a night ride, and I don't know how true it is, but he said him and another guy went out on a night ride and was, um, yeah, doing gay stuff, and then when they came back, the guy that was on post didn't know who he was and shot him off of his horse. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Pretty I wonder, funny. I wonder who that was. Oh, man, it was, um... Because, like, the North didn't get their shit together it until, was like, like uh, General... Grant came in. His name was, like, Hard or Rock or... Because he made a reference to it being gay. Yeah. Um, start naming some. I don't, I mean, I only know, like... It's funny, though. It's it's a good listen. Uh, believe it or not, Ozzy Osbourne is a big Civil War history... F I mean, can he still talk, though? Like, seriously, the last video I've seen of him... So I'm, like, sitting on his couch, and he's like... Yeah, I think he's gotten better. In a winter storm, storms, you can call Missouri the semi-junkyard... His major was history. Yeah, yeah, his major was history. He's funny. When he starts talking about, look, I've I've got some Down syndrome people in my family. Yeah, I mean, you know, it almost got me. It nicked me, you know? Yeah. Because <laughs> he looks like he's got a little tad of Down syndrome. Have you ever seen him? Yeah, you showed me oh, his God stuff damn, before. he's hilarious. St Stonewall. Yeah, it was Stonewall Jack and Jackson because... Uh, he was like, I bet he was out there all stonewalled up with that other nice. dude. <laughs> that's who I was. That's who I was thinking of, of saying, but then I couldn't remember if like that was like revolutionary or civil. Uh, Y'all should watch Climate the movie and tell your representatives to shove their agenda up their arse. Stonewall Jackson, yeah, yeah, that's funny. That's good. Glad you guys knew that. I'm terrible with history. I'll be honest. I did terrible in school with everything. I only paid attention to, like, the Civil War. I was terrible at everything. Math, 
history, science. I mean, I probably failed recess. I did terrible in gym because I didn't want my I'm so white, I was so embarrassed to like change out into my like my my gym shorts cuz my legs are white. I was I like, mean, I do not want to wear shorts. Are a white person. I so. know, but I mean now I don't care. Like I don't care what people think of me now. But yeah. then man Texas is our own thing. His major was history in the winter storms. St. Louis arches called the gateway to the west. Yeah, I've heard that before. The arch is cool to look at. Uh, you pronounce Missouri misery? Yeah, because we used to call Missouri misery all the time. Yeah. Because it was misery going out there and finding loads. Mm hmm. What's your favorite bands you currently listen to on the regular? Uh, NF. I am like super hooked on NF. NF is probably my biggest thing I listen to right now. Yeah. Yeah, I could listen to that stuff on repeat. Um, I have YouTube Premium and it's the best. Got it so my youngest wouldn't have to watch commercials. Yeah. You should go up in the arch. You can't go up in the arch, can you? I think you can go in the, I think, I feel like we, my parents wanted to. Isn't there an elevator? Isn't there an elevator How does in that arch? work? Isn't that thing like leaning one way in like an arch like this? Or I mean, is it straight up and down? No, it's like, it's like a regular arch, but like. Oh. Uh, how's the AP do, you, uh, blah, 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 how's the AP you doing? Um, I had to re JB Weld it tonight. Yes, yeah, they're saying it's that leaking a little bit. There's an elevator in there. That's what I remember. I didn't know that. I remember going. I don't I, know where we'd park the truck though. I don't know. I, like I've been there, but I don't think we did the elevator because there was like a, a crazy line. Like my parents weren't gonna wait in that line to go up to the arch. I could be wrong though. Eclipse on Monday, put on your welding mask. I'll wear my welding squints. I mean, are we going to be in the path of it? I don't even I don't know. know. I didn't even look that up. Honestly. Still stuck in the 80s hair bands? Like who? No, NF is good though, man. I can't get enough of NF. I keep looking to see when they're going to be like on tour. Yeah. If If I had access to my phone, I could tell you like... NF, yeah, N as in like Nancy, NF. Um, there's a museum under the arch too, really? I mean, I guess I there know. is, but I don't... Uh, I mean, that might be... Look, I was like super young when we went. Uh, YouTube takes like 50% of your... Of your 30. 30%? I think so. 30% of your super it's chat. still a lot. Yeah, they take... They take a chunk. We don't have kids together. I have two boys at home that probably aren't really mine. And she has no kids. Yeah. She doesn't want kids. Nope. Okay, I'm going to keep watching MASH 4077. What? I used to watch MASH as a kid. Yeah. I mean, sometimes that was the only thing that was on. The eclipse is April 8th. So it's not Monday. Joe's hungry 30. What's 30? 30% is the super chat. Oh yeah. Isn't that crazy? 30%, man. I mean, I understand they need to they need to make a cut, but that seems crazy to me. I mean, it's it's a lot. Honestly. Mash and Cheers. I watched Cheers. What was that um did you ever see that movie with that guy from Cheers? It was the big fat guy. But like, it was crazy. That house was, they were in that house and like that fish came to life. Wasn't that called House? Was it called House? I think oh, so. Oh man, I used to watch that all the time. That was a crazy movie. Yeah. Norm? Yeah, I think it was Norm. Yeah, it was Norm. Uh, favorite current streaming show series? I'm watching, um... I'm watching that Good Doctor show. Good Doctor with that, uh... 
What is that? What is that that he has? Isn't he autistic? Autistic. That autistic doctor. I'm into like doctor shows, man. Like yeah. I like watching The House, Grey's Anatomy. You said The House. I like watching House. <laughs> I know what you said. Grey's the House. Anatomy, like all those doctor ones, like that. And what's weird is I hate sports, but I love to like watching um, football movies. Yeah. It's weird. Watching, see, I never got into Seinfeld. I thought I think it's funny. I watched Seinfeld like back in the day. Bro, I watched Big Bang Theory finally. Yeah. Fantastic, man. Yeah, it was it was okay. Some of it was like, some of it was kind of funny. It's funny. Bang Big Bang Theory is funny. Uh, what else have we been watching? Oh, have you guys seen the new? Uh, what's that new movie with Conor McGregor? Um, Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Have you guys seen the new Roadhouse with Conor McGregor? Old Doogie Hauser. If you go to Arch, don't park in the hood. I don't know where you'd park, park anyways. Been watching South Park? You never watched South Park? South Park is good. I can't say I've, like, I've watched every episode. I used to watch South Park a lot. Yeah. I, don't, I haven't watched it recently. Beavis and Butthead. Big Bang is funny, yeah. Roadhouse. I thought Roadhouse was decent. I feel like Conor McGregor tried to sell the whole, which I'm sure they told him. You know, you're the, you're the big badass. I saw a TikTok where they're like, um, Con Conor McGregor walking around in Roadhouse like this. That's every exact, scene. Yeah, that's <laughs> exactly like, how it was, man. It was weird. It was weird. It was still a good movie though. I did get sucked into watching Yellowstone. Uh, Yellowstone was good. I haven't watched all the seasons. I'm on like one of the last seasons of where... I can't remember. I don't know. The last show that like I really liked was the House of Usher show. And I haven't really watched any other... Yeah, the House of Usher was like, pretty streaming awesome. streaming shows since then. Really. I just watched... I just watched YouTube. Yeah, Yellowstone usually. is great. Uh, the Office, obviously. Everybody likes The Office. Dexter. Breaking Bad. I've watched Breaking Bad three or four times. I've watched The Office twice. If you want to go to the Arch in the St. Louis area, let me know a few days ahead and you can borrow one of our vehicles and drive over. I wonder what that would be like though what's the traffic like around that arch oh i don't remember i mean like i was super young when we went I, well that's I cool know. though i appreciate that chad i'll uh i'll remember that woohoo oh god uh jello stone my liver what uh i liked up all night robert you watched the old movie american graffiti i don't know i don't think you have I've only seen parts of it. Good night, guys. I must be getting old. Me too, Michael. Me too. You can park down the road here. Narcos is pretty awesome. We started watching Narcos, didn't we? Yeah. And I don't know whatever happened of it. We just forgot to finish watching it. Oh, another good series, but I don't know about the new season, but the mo uh, it's on Amazon called Upload. That's pretty good. Oh, Resident Alien. Oh, that's yeah. an amazing series to watch. That is a good show. I can't remember what that's on. Sci -fi. Resident Alien is amazing. We need to look. See, what happens is we get into these new shows and the season ends. And, and then, then we I forget, forget all about them. Yeah. And the next thing you know, they've canceled it because they didn't remind you to watch it. Game of Thrones. You know, me and Lita watch Game of Thrones all the way up to like the last. We haven't seen the last two or three episodes mm -hmm. just because we got it spoiled for us. And it's like, well. They're coming out with another one, though. Traffic's not bad at the arch. Uh, I Idiocracy movie. Yeah, I told you that's what I wanted to watch. Yeah. I keep seeing TikToks about that. And I'm like, we have to watch that. Uh, Longmire is a great show. That sounds familiar. You was running propane out of Albany, and I was looking for your guy's truck. Where were you going from Albany, though? Because 
What's up from California? What's up, Kyle? Days of Thunder. <sighs> uh, you go to the Arch, go to the Dylan Woloney Beer Plant, take a tour of the... That would be cool. Yeah. Yeah, that would be cool. American Graffiti is really good. Remind me of that. Shake and Bake. Yeah, that's some funny shit. Arthur, best movie made. But between Jacksonville and Carolinas. So did you go through Valdosta or you just... I'm trying to think of what else we've been watching. Nothing really, huh? I've just been playing WoW. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, your wife's from Alapaha. Nice. Um, my ex-wife's family. I, there's some of her families in Alapaha. Mini series eleven twenty two sixty three. Excellent. Ah, uh, that sounds familiar. 11, that house of what was that called? House of uh, the fall of the house of Usher. The fall of the house of Usher is amazing. That's yeah. a definite watch. I think we saw eleven twenty two sixty three. Oh yeah. Yeah. Eleven twenty two sixty three so good. I'll have to check that out. Make that a part of your list too. Uh, I think we've seen that already. Almost took a reefer load to Valdosta the other day from California. I wonder where it was going in Valdosta. Uh, we still have the Starlink on the truck, Joe, but we uh, it's technically turned off. But it's in here. I mean, I could turn it back on. Yeah, that's the JFK, that's the JFK thing. Where it was a time traveler. You oh, remember the time that? traveler in the closet? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. With JFK, they, like, figured out, like... Yeah. They, yeah, yeah, we, that's why it sounded familiar, because we've seen that. That is really... That was really yeah. good. Yeah. I'm, I'm a big Stephen Northern King Northern Exposure fan, on Prime. Yeah, so we still have our Starlink, but our uh, T-Mobile hotspot's been doing great. Like, we're getting, like, five, 600 down here, and, like, 100 and something up. Did you watch How I Met Your Mother? That sounds familiar. I don't... I haven't watched that. What was that one show that we were watching that they canceled where uh, it was two realtors and she had to, like, eat brains? Oh, zombie something. Was it zombie something? She was a zombie, wasn't she? Well, yeah, she had to eat, like, brains or something. They had to figure out how to kill people, but they canceled that show. Gone in 60 seconds. To me, that... We're using T-Mobile tonight, Joe. Stayed at the Super 8 in Valdosta many years ago. It was a dump. I don't even know where the Super 8 is. Better Call Saul. I watched that a bunch. That was a spinoff of um, uh, Breaking Bad. There was also uh, El Camino was a spinoff of Breaking Bad. The movie. Or was it a TV show? El Camino. The, uh, the T-Bubbles, uh, 50 bucks a month for that. But the uh, Starlink was 150 Yeah, the, uh, I mean, the T-Mobile's been, been it's decent. It's been working. Yeah, yeah, that's what we do, too, never. Oh, yeah, I, I watched, I watched Weed. That was a, I got into that show. What was that other show, too, where, um, that good doctor plays in it, and his mom owns a hotel? Oh, that was Psycho. No, 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 it was a TV. TV yeah. series. Psycho. 
I think it was called Psycho. No. No, no, no. It's not called Psycho. You weirdo. Um, Bates Motel. Bates Motel. That's it. Did somebody say that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bates Motel. Yeah, that was a good series. We stopped watching that too. It was over. Oh, is it completely done? Yeah, it's been done. Uh, there's a few YouTubers we watch. I mean, they did put that chip in somebody's head, William. I just sent that to um, Scotty Kramer's dad. They they finally had their first patient. Uh, uh, Euro, Euro uh, what's it called? Something link. Neuralink? Neuralink. I'm not sure why I'm addicted to your channel. I really enjoy it, though. I appreciate that, David. I don't know why you either. <laughs> I don't know why either. It's like, here we are. Here's some more stuff. We're loading up. Neuralink. Yeah, yeah, Neuralink. I mean, I think... Um, if you guys have never seen that that uh, show Black Mirror, that's another good show to watch. Black Mirror, I think yeah, it's so, on Netflix. Some some of the episodes are good. Yeah, some Black of them Mirror. are like weird. Some of the episodes were weird. Okay, so you it, Mackie. Because that dog was sleepy. Star uh, or uh, Black Mirror is good, but um, a lot of that stuff is like coming true. was a kid I would watch uh, Creature Features on Saturday night and Night of the Living Dead and I did some crazy stuff when I was a kid watching uh, we would rent those uh, Faces of Death videos I think I found y'all one time I was watching Gentry and Sons really? used to watch USA Up All Night with Elvira Love your channel. Watch for every new video to come out. I appreciate that, Mike. Because people are addicted to watching reality. Yeah, but a lot of the reality is fake reality. I mean, I've never discussed this before, but um, what's that? Uh, Shipping Wars wanted us on their show. I guess I could talk about that in a video once. Shipping Wars wanted us to get back in our hot shot. No, thank you. You hit the record, bro, four hours? I guess we've been on for four Oh, my hours. goodness. Yeah, it was uh, during I was painting my dad's car, and that was the reason that we needed to go back to the house. I said in the video that we had to go take care of some stuff. We had a um, we had an interview with uh, one of the um, directors for Shipping Wars, and they wanted us to get back in the uh, hot shot truck. And I kept talking about how um, I wasn't going to run none of that cheap stuff like they do on the on the show. And they kind of hinted around to where like I probably couldn't have my YouTube channel anymore. Yeah. And uh, wouldn't really give us a number on like what we would be making on the show. Like, how does all that work? And I think I ultimately kind of just scared them off because I need to know these numbers before I can sign anything. Yeah. Well, and the and like they wanted us back in the pickup. Truck. They want us back in the pickup. I mean, I'm sure they wanted fake drama. Yeah. I mean, all, all I told them I'm not going to do any of that fake crap. Yeah. I mean, that show is, like, ridiculous. They got people, like, shipping cakes and stuff that have no business yeah, shipping cakes. And then, like, you're, like, dismantling stuff. Like, like, I mean, we've done some, like, crazy stuff to get loads on the trailer, like, by ourselves. But yeah. some of the stuff that they did that in that show was crap. ridiculous. No, thanks. I'm exhausted. I think I need to call it here. Honestly. Yeah. I can't stop yawning. It's 
My wife and I are addicted to watching your videos, and I myself was worried about where you guys were. <sighs> Stop yawning, woman. <laughs> You're the one that's yawning. <laughs> You're the one that's yawning. All right. I appreciate you guys stopping by. I will try to do these more often. Thanks for the super chats. You guys are uh, fantastic. Um, Joe says I'm famous. I don't know about that, Joe. <laughs> You're the one with the play button, my dude. You are the one with the YouTube play button. Did he get it yet? Yeah, he got it. 